Also, uh, you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, which is a good way for you to reach out and sound really good. Sometimes, you know, some Skype connections, if you have a decent microphone, you'll sound almost like you're sitting in the studio with us. And that's just easier to listen to uh, on the radio wave. So Skype in at lrn.fm. Call in 855-453-FREE. We've got a disturbing story to start things. Uh, well, there's a disturbing story, I guess, to some people. Uh, a lot of people are going to be disturbed by this story, but uh, it's it's unusual. It's a follow-up on something that happened back in the 1990s. Mary Kay Letourneau, you may remember that name. She was the Yeah, when you first teacher. said it, I remembered the name, but I didn't remember why. But first, I want to welcome our newest radio affiliate. Uh, it's News Talk 940 KIXZ AM, the voice of Amarillo, Mark. I know that yes. uh, the people in Amarillo, I don't know if they get upset if someone pronounces it in the uh, the Spanish uh, version. Amarillo. Amarillo. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, welcome aboard. Actually, it turns out uh, KIXZ has been with us for two months, and I didn't find out until this week, so just due to a paperwork, <laughs> welcome. paperwork snafu. Uh, welcome aboard. We're glad you're there, and you can join us here uh, anytime you like. Whether you're listening in delay broadcast or you're live uh, listening on the radio, you can call our show anytime about anything that well, happens to be on your mind. Not anytime. You can call between 7 and 10 Eastern time. Yeah, anytime we're live. Good point. Uh, 7 to 10 Eastern, seven nights a week. The story is coming out of ABC News, and it was uh, 2020 last night with, I think it was Barbara Walters. Uh, when Mary Kay Letourneau... Barbara Walters still kicking around. Good for her. She is. When Mary Kay Letourneau Fallot was forced to go public in 1997 with an affair she was having with her former sixth grade student, Whoa. Vili Fallot, after she became pregnant with his child, it was the teacher-student sex scandal heard around the world. At the time, Mary was a 34-year-old married teacher in Seattle who already had four children of her own. Vili was just 30, uh, 13 years old. Mary was arrested and served seven and a half years in prison. Whoa! Today, Mary is 53 and Vili is uh, 31. The couple is still together and are about to celebrate their 10th wedding anniversary. Did they let him visit her while she was while they, she was in jail? Because I know they got together when she got out. Well, I think they're, they're going to cover this in the story, but what happened was uh, she was under an order to not contact him initially and was given like a year in jail i think and then she did not obey that order and mm. they did have contact and that's when uh, seven years came at her at this that point weird love was just too strong the two daughters so yeah during her jail sentence he would not have been able to visit her i don't think due to likely no contact at least probably until he was 18 uh that's my speculation i don't have the you know case orders in front of me or anything like that the two daughters that they have together are now teenagers older than Vili was when the affair first started. Mary and Vili sat down for an exclusive interview with Barbara Walters to talk about how they managed to stay together all these years despite their very public and forbidden relationship. If it wasn't strong enough in the beginning, Mary told Walters, it wouldn't have carried through those years. That's pretty clear. The interview is uh, part of an upcoming new series, American Scandal, on investigation discovery, which revisits some of her most famous interviews. During the interview, Mary described how her and Vili's relationship moved from emotional to sexual when he was in middle school. When she was his teacher, she began to spend more and more time with Vili to help him develop what she thought was a gift for drawing. By the end of the school year, she had uh, the two. She said the two had bonded, and by summer, they started having an affair. Mary said, the incident was a late night that didn't stop with a kiss, and I thought that it would, and it didn't. When asked if she felt guilty or disgusted with herself for having the affair, Mary said, quote, I loved him very much, and I kind of thought, why can't it ever just be a kiss? By the end of summer of 1996, Mary was pregnant. She was married, right? She was, with four kids of her own at that time. Mary was pregnant with Vili's child, their first daughter, and shortly after the new year in 97, Mary's husband discovered a love letter that Mary had written, presumably to Vili. The authorities were alerted, and Mary was arrested. The story of the Seattle student sex scandal caught wide national attention. She gave birth to her and Vili's first child, Audrey, on May 29th of 1997. Three months later, she pleaded guilty to two counts of second-degree child rape. On Friday, November 14th, 1997, she was sentenced to 89 months in prison. She was paroled, however, after serving six months on the condition that she stay away from Vili and attend counseling sessions for sex offenders. See, now, I've always had a problem with the term, uh, so they use child rape here, the statutory rape, that terminology. Mm -hmm. It just, it trots out a term 
that probably shouldn't be uh, trotted out, um, but I can see why it is. It's not that I have firm convictions on it. It's just that I, I think it's confusing. So in this case, we're talking about a 13-year-old young man. That's right. Um, you know, in many cultures, right? Like, uh, you know, Jews have the uh, the whole bar mitzvah at 12. Uh, many cultures in the past, people would have been considered uh, adults uh, somewhere in that, that range, you know, 12, 13, thereabouts. So, uh, but now people consider them children. Yes, I understand. And I'm not saying that I think the 13 year olds are really going to be great at making decisions about having sex with adults. But um, you know, to use this term, statutory rape or child child rape. I mean, that's a pretty loaded term. Mm-hmm. Um, when honestly, it looks like we can use hindsight here to say. He made a pretty powerful decision in his life, and that's what he wanted. Well, people will say, Mark, that he cannot make those decisions. He is not uh, 18 years old. Well, I mean, obviously he did make those decisions. <laughs> um, and The court does not care, however. Indeed, they don't. And uh, so she was paroled after six months. And I don't know months. what one does in this circumstance, right? Does she have to be a Apparently sacrifice? You go to prison. Does she have to be a sacrifice to our sort of societal norms? Because it's pretty clear that these two want to be together and yep. probably should be together. It doesn't seem appropriate, like maybe that maybe she should have waited or whatever. Groomed him is the uh, the term that has become so uh, popular. But, I mean, you know, it gets very difficult, right? Like these people are the exception that pro- proves that uh, at one point or another, uh, you know, we can't know everything. Uh, but within a month of being paroled, however, she was back in prison for ignoring the court order, and her sentence was reinstated. While on parole, Mary became pregnant again with Vili's child and gave birth to a second daughter, Georgia, behind bars. On uh, She gave birth behind bars on October of 1998, October 16th. Mary's husband then filed for divorce and moved their four children Just to then? <laughs> Alaska. Uh, for Vili, the journey to get where he is today has not been easy. He said he battled depression over the years, saying, I'm surprised I'm still alive today. I went through a really dark time. He grew up impoverished without a father and had a tumultuous relationship with his mother. When his affair with Mary began and after she became pregnant with his child, he said that he felt he had no support system to help him through it. It was a huge change in my Who life. Who took care of the—I mean, he didn't. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, He says, uh, I don't feel like I had the right support, the right help behind me from my family, from anyone in general. I mean, my friends couldn't help me because they had no idea what it was like to be a parent because we were all 14, 15. Feely said he had counseling sessions, but even then struggled because he said counselors wanted to take wanted him to take antidepressant medication to even him out. And he said, I don't even think the counselors knew how to deal with it. It was just weird. I was like, why do I need to be on an antidepressant pill? And they said, it was to level you out so they can have a conversation with you. It just kind of really annoyed me through the years. He was forbidden from visiting Mary in prison, but he said it would have helped him if he had been able to talk to her during that time. So once again, the state uh, coming in here and, you know, making these people's lives uh, worse than they had to than they had to be. This uh, would he have had the same level of depression had the ostensible love of his life not been wrested from him and put into a prison cell and then he prevented from even interacting with her by mail? What a mess this is. Um, so you know, the the one question that comes up is is that is somehow he he's still twisted from his molesting at uh, 13 years old, and this is sort of the result. Um, but I guess I. Like, all these people seem really messed up. Are you saying he was molested? Because molested is unwanted sexual uh, contact. I understand. Um, I don't have a better term for this, right? Like, do I think that things that happen to people when they're young are more formative than when they happen when they're older? I do. Do you think it was that he had uh, sexual contact with this lady that twisted him or the fact that the state screwed in? I know some people are going to say that. Yeah, I know. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can share how you feel about this. 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. More on the Mary Mary Kay Letourneau situation coming up. And now from the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. The Constitution was not America's first governing document. The first was the Articles of Confederation created in 1775 under which the existing states grouped themselves as a union. Under the Articles, votes by the 13 states had to be unanimous and what was enacted didn't have the force of law. It was merely a suggestion to the state. 
The Constitution's supporters, the Federalists, argued that the Articles were weak because the nation couldn't make good on its debts or prevent squabbles among states. Be careful what you wish for, their opponents, the Anti-Federalists warned. A more powerful federal government could dominate the states and people. The Anti-Federalists lost that battle and the new Constitution was ratified. But it is in large part thanks to them that we have a Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the Constitution adopted to address their concerns. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. It's now been seven days since a group of hikers went missing in Maine's Acadia National Park, but rescue crews there are still holding out hope of finding them alive. Autistic reporter Michael Falk is on the scene there. Michael. Hello, Brooke. My socks got wet. That cameraman gave me new socks. I am fine. That's good, Michael, but what's the situation there? The names of the hikers are Casey Allman, Brian Emery, Ashley Thorson. The hikers were last seen 174 hours ago. Since then, three very big storms have hit here. There's a 1.24% chance that all of the hikers are alive. Why are you looking for the hikers? Well, we're still hopeful that we might be able to find them. There's been a break in the weather, so we're hoping that. Over the past seven days, the average high temperature has been 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Over the past seven days, the average low temperature has been 6 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. So we did another sweep of the park from the air, but we didn't see anything. Without shelter, the human body can withstand temperatures this cold for a maximum of three hours. Is there shelter in the forest for the hikers? Not that we know of. They are frozen. Well, we like Shh. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. The live Saturday edition continues here. Plenty of time for you with your thoughts. You can dial in toll-free. Uh, the number is 855-450-FREE. We're talking about Mary Kay Letourneau. She is back in the news on 2020 in an exclusive interview last night with Barbara Walters, celebrating 10 years of marriage to her supposed victim of uh, what is alleged to have been child rape back in the late 1990s. We'd love to have your thoughts on that situation, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, the Pocket Power Plus is a source of backup power so small you can put it in your pocket. And it's also so powerful that in some circumstances it can even jumpstart a car. It sounds crazy, but it's not. It's a breakthrough in portable power technology. The Pocket Power Plus can help you out. Maybe you get stranded, you're stuck in an airport, you're going to be in the car all day, or just at the office and you know you don't have a free USB charger to plug into your, uh, your phone to. This thing 
can help you. It can get you multiple charges of a cell phone, and uh, it can operate that uh, you know your electronic devices for hours, sometimes days, if necessary. I've been uh, charging my cell phone exclusively from the Pocket Power Plus from Wednesday through late Friday night, and never had to use another source to uh, to get any power. So you can go to PocketPowerPlus9.com and grab it for half price there. Also use code FTL. To save even more, it comes with a full accessory pack. It's got most of the adapters that'll fit all of your devices uh, over at PocketPowerPlus9.com. Plus, it even comes with the jumper cables. PocketPowerPlus9.com. Use coupon code FTL. Let's go to Bob. He's in Norfolk, Virginia, listening to WNIS. Bob, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hi. I just wanted to say that it's not child rape because that's just stupid. And it's not molestation. What it is, it's statutory rape. Okay. You know, both of these other things are saying it's wrong because the victim was forced, you know, maliciously forced. But this is a consenting relationship between a 13-year-old and a 30-year-old. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a good relationship to have. It's not. But what it, one thing it doesn't have is non-consent. Therefore, it is statutory rape because... By statute, it is considered rape right because of the age. That's it. Because some men sitting around in a room somewhere decided that if you're under the age of whatever arbitrary age they selected, it's usually 18 or 16 in the United States, that you cannot consent right. to sexual activity. And I get how they use that term, but I mean, it's yeah. just, I mean, basically, to some extent, we should call it illegal sex. Um, mm. I mean, I. I I know plenty of people who, adults now, who seem reasonably well-adjusted, who chose to have sex prior to the, eight, the legal age. They just didn't get caught. Right. I couldn't tell you what the legal age was when I was, uh, you know, under the age of 18, but I had sex under the age of 18 and would have had sex sooner if I if somebody would have allowed me. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't consider myself particularly maladjusted. Maybe some people do, but I would say that the amount of people that have sex under the age of 18 is pretty high. Bob, anything else you want to share tonight? Um, I mean, I just think that let's use our brains here. Whether or not it's right to have, for me as a 25-year-old man to have sex with a 13-year-old, I mean, I have never done that, never will. Never had sex with anyone under age 18 just because, whatever, it's my choice. But um, what I think is that if someone does, it makes them possibly, it makes them a pedophile maybe, you know, in the sense that they like underage people. But it Technically, that's not sense. the definition of uh, you know, pedophile. I mean, yeah, just to be clear. Someone who likes a free, free teen kids and all that weird crap. Yeah, you're right. Um, right. But I, what is, I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, it, I guess that's a morally gray area to be having to be 19 and being with a 13 year old and stuff like that. I personally don't think it's right. However, uh, to eat their own. It's whatever. whether you think it's as right. That's it's just my question, sense. right? So you can certainly think that it's yeah. wrong or right, but as you said, to each as their own. So would you agree then well, that Mary yeah. Kay Letourneau should not have gone to prison over this? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to you know, say, oh, I don't think she should have gone to prison. It kind of depends on the situation. And in this situation, because it, it kind of you have to consent in order to have an erection unless you're forced by Agra or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It, but it, it there happens. Was clear consent, and he was of reproductive age, and he was Clearly. a male in the sense that he, uh, you know, it's like. So why does whether he's a male or not matter? What right. is it? That's that's a real no, problem. The only reason why, you know, the only reason why it matters is from a biological perspective. You know, if the penis is up, then you're consenting. Ninety-nine point nine nine percent of the time. So you're saying that, that he was a male matters because it makes it more clear that he was consenting yeah. as opposed to yeah. being as raped? As opposed to, you know, a 13-year-old girl and a 19-year-old man or a 25-year-old man or however old she was at the time. She, uh, If it was a 30-year-old man and a 13-year-old girl, then generally speaking, there's going to be more. It's going to be a hugely gray area because, you know, what if? Uh, you know, it was right. There's no way to prove that it wasn't right. You Bob, know, thanks for your call tonight. Right. I, I do appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. I think the appropriate thing that should have happened to Mary Kay Letourneau is she should have lost her job. 
uh, because, you know, she was in a position of it's power. really inappropriate. Yeah, she was in a position of power. It's not an appropriate thing for a teacher to do there. But I don't think prison is the right solution for people in this, these situations. Well, when I break it down um, and I say uh, 31, is that the age? Uh, stage? Somewhere in, the, yeah. in her early 30s. 31-year-old married teacher has sex with a 13-year-old student. I find that to be breathtaking. Uh, when I, you know, when I think about it, as far as uh, from a standpoint, now I'm, I'm not much on these malum prohibitum laws where there's no victim. Um, in my opinion, where there's no victim, there is no crime. But many people are going to come down on the, the side and say, you know, this kid's a victim. But it she's sounds... uh, now married to her supposed victim for a decade. Yeah, and they've it... got smiling, happy pictures together. Right, and I mean so. It, it looks like this flies in the face of the claim that he's a victim, doesn't it? It sure does. You so, can share your thoughts with us here at 855-450-FREE. Let's talk to James in Michigan, uh, Kalamazoo. James, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Well, uh, good evening, gentlemen. Um, I just wanted to uh, thank you so much for uh, what you do uh, in the name of freedom. Um, you guys have really changed my mind. I used to consider myself a hardcore uh, leftist and um, just listening to you guys has really kind of made me realize the error of my ways. So thank oh, you cool. so much. Thanks. Glad we could help. But you changed your own mind. We didn't do that for you. Uh, anyway, go ahead with oh, your yeah, thoughts but, tonight. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, uh, first off, I, I think it's funny whenever one of these um, news stories breaks about a teacher having relations with a student, it always seems like the teacher is extremely good looking. So there I, do I seem to be a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it kind of makes me jealous because I kind of wish that I were that student back right. when I were in Why school. did this crap happen to me in school? <laughs> but, I mean, uh, seriously, I, I, I hear, I've hear i heard stories um, about, because, like, uh, here in Michigan, uh, what they call the age of consent, quote-unquote, what the uh, government officials um place as a number that they feel is okay for people to start having relations is 16. So, you know, you've got a couple of students in school, you know, a year apart, year or two apart in age. One might be a sophomore, one might be a senior. It's okay for a short time, but then all of a sudden, like, the one crosses that magical it becomes a crime. Stand by, James, if you've got more, we can uh, share that with you here in a moment, or you can share that with us, rather. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number, and we get plenty of time for you with your thoughts here. Mary Kay Letourneau, it's Free Talk Live. Measles is activating on a mass scale, now due to the vaccines and iron poisoning. All symptoms, disease, and deaths are due to measles and iron, not just rash and flu-like symptoms, as the officials claim. Measles requires a host with iron to replicate. Iron intake is at an unprecedented level. Deaths and hospitalizations are set to soar now in 2015. This is the extermination plan, people. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Unveilingthem.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. 
LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. Talk Live, you take control toll-free to bring up whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREEZE, the number, 855-450-3733. We've got all kinds of features there on our website, so please enjoy them on us. You can create the content right there on the front page, free at freetalklive.com. Plus, ProXPN is free. If you want to go and download their software, you can do it right now at proxpn.com slash FTL, and they will help protect you online. Right now, your internet service provider is probably logging the websites you visit, logging like, uh, likely the search terms that you're entering, and maybe they're selling that log information, selling, uh, selling it to third-party people who want to data mine and learn about you. Uh, or maybe they're handing it over to law enforcement to do who knows what with. Well, you can stop that from happening with ProXPN. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. They encrypt your data connection, and that protects you from your Internet service provider snooping on you, maybe somebody at the coffee shop that's the administrator learning about where you're going and what you're doing. So ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can get it for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, pretty much anything you're using. You can run ProXPN, and you can save 50% off the price of their annual account by using our discount code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live, and then 50 as in 50% off the annual account price at ProXPN.com slash FTL. A risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee awaits you, and with that premium account, you'll have the ability to privately torrent. You can get past regionally blocked websites. You'll have unlimited bandwidth and servers around the world that you can access. It's a very cool service. You can go and try it out right now for free at proxpn.com slash FTL. And when you're ready to buy, use code FTL50 for a great discount on privacy that is priceless. James is back with us in Kalamazoo. We're discussing Mary Kay Letourneau. She's back in the news, not because uh, anything news, newsy has happened. She's just had a relationship with her supposed victim, who was 13 at the time they had sex back in the late 1990s. He's now in his early 30s, and she is in her 50s, and they've been together in a marriage for a decade. Uh, I want to bring uh, James back on, though. James, uh, go ahead with uh, further thoughts. Do we have James in Kalamazoo? James going once. It, it kind of. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hello? You are on the air. All right. It, it, it just uh, kind of disturbs me that, um, you know, this uh, these, this government that we have says that, like, for example, in, in the state of Michigan, where the age of consent is 16, that theoretically a 16-year-old individual could be having relations with an 80-year-old individual, theoretically, but can't have relations with somebody a year younger than them. 
And so that's it's correct. like an arbitrary – that's just an arbitrary number that the government puts on. I mean, who in the world is the, is the government to tell me when I'm ready? I, I think that the laws of nature should, should tell me when I'm ready. And, and you know, if, if, uh, if these two individuals are happy uh, with their age gap, then – you know, why was it even a big deal to begin with? Right. A lot of times what can happen is, um, for instance, if two 15-year-olds is, uh, and, you know, under the age of consent are having sex, likely the police are going to do nothing about it. And the parents really can't do much about it except attempt to keep them away. But probably all their mistakes have been made in parenting up to this point already, and there's really nothing they can, little they can do except basically imprisonment and boarding school and things like that. Thanks, but James, for your call tonight. Appreciate it. If you, however, if one of those uh, people, probably the male, um, goes above the age of consent first, then you have a statutory rape situation on your hands and the police absolutely will step in. Now, there have been a few Romeo and Juliet laws that have come into play um, in the past, but some of them are just to get you removed from the sex, sex offender list. They're not even uh, they're not hmm. even condoning the behavior. So it really is, it's kind of ridiculous that two 15-year-olds that have been boyfriend, girlfriend, um, and then one goes over the age first and before the other one, which, if, I mean, unless they were born at the same, on the same day is going to happen, um, then, you know, then one of them is a sex offender. That's crazy. And they better not take any pictures of it either, Mark, because then they'll be child pornographers as well. Course, well, kids take lots of pictures, lots yeah. of things we wish they wouldn't these days. Uh, Spence is listening in Norfolk, Virginia. Spence, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Good show, guys. I think it's uh, every boy's dream of at 13 years old to uh, have an older woman go after him. I think they, they shouldn't have done anything to her. Yeah, it's probably not uncommon. I don't know if it's every boy's dream, but it's probably what not about firing heard her? of. Yeah, fire her, yes. Get her out of the uh, – defuse the whole situation. But, you know, jail time for that. And look, they've been married for 10 years. It's totally ridiculous. Yeah, I totally agree. Now, would you agree with the, I mean, what if you reverse the roles? What if she is now a male teacher and he is a female student? Does that make you feel differently? No. Okay. Unless, they, unless the adult puts a gun to the head, you know. Well, that's what the argument's going to be, is that she was in a position of power, and so therefore it's sort of tantamount to a gun to the head. She could have given him bad grades or something like that. She was in a position of power, and I'm not going to deny that for a second, but it's pretty clear in the circumstance that he made some kind of choice, right? I mean, looking looking at it 10 years later. This was a long time that this was uh, developing over. It was developing over a period of a year. And if a girl had done the same thing, it would have been the same... She made the conscious decision to have the uh, uh, affair with the older male teacher or older guy, whoever. You know, nobody put a gun to these kids' head. And But the claim, Spence, from the critics, and I'm surprised we haven't heard from any of them yet tonight, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. The claim from the critics is going to be that, well, he couldn't have made that decision because he was 13, and so therefore he can't make decisions like that. That's why you need the law to protect these uh, young people. No. A uh, 13-year-old boy, he's old enough, and his hormones are raging. You know, 13-year-old boys are horn dogs. Mm. I don't see anything wrong with it, especially since they've had a, a, a good relationship for the last 10, 15 years after that. Thanks, Spence, for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Well, I see lots wrong with it. Um, the fact that she was married up to that point, um, she... You know, she had four kids. Uh, she threw her marriage into the dumper. Um, she couldn't control herself in any way, shape, or form. She showed the inability to control herself a great deal. I I see a lot wrong with this, but I don't know. I don't think sus- like laws and it's imprisonment not criminal. and fining yeah. and probation particularly are going to fix it. We can all sit here and say. They should do this and they should do that. Well, there's a lot of things that people should do, but the mm-hmm. human race has not done. You know, largely you're talking about the median of the human race has uh, just managed to limp ab- limp along above primate for for quite some time. Yes, we should all aspire to something more, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure the worst part about this story is this lady spent seven years in prison. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible, and especially it it hurt Vili, the uh, the young man in this situation. He was depressed, seriously depressed, and he said that being able to talk to her would have helped him. But he was prohibited from talking to her. In fact, if she talked to him, 
she would end up going to jail for a longer period of time, which is actually what happened to her. He said, quote, I think the only person that I really needed to talk to, I mean, if they gave me more options or choices to make instead of just saying, oh, you can't talk to her anymore. And I was like, well, I really do want to talk to her, though, Feely said. Uh, Mary was released from prison in August of 2004, and the couple was married just 10 months later in a lavish ceremony at a winery in Washington State. Vili was 21 years old at that time. He said, quote, it was a huge relief to actually get married after just going through all those years and then having so many questions and them not being answered, he said. I mean, Mary and uh, Vili here, according to ABC News, have stayed in the same Seattle community where Mary had lived with her first husband, when she, and, which is pretty amazing. You know, to to stay in the same area, you would think there would be some social pressure there to yeah. get her out. But Mary said they didn't move because they wanted to focus on getting on track with life. Through all of this, she said her. It's fort- expensive to move, and it doesn't sound like they've been rolling in the dough at any point. They've been there to support each other, but um, you know, she that, did say that's by the way, priceless, Mark. So you know that her four children from her previous marriage have remained part of her family. She says all of our holidays were always together, and they're very close with their Aren't they sisters. in Alaska? Well, he did move them to Alaska, but it's now later, right? Okay. So uh, it's it's been a long time. But for Vili, who is only about a year and a half older than Mary's oldest son, it has been more difficult. He said, it's an awkward feeling for sure to be close in age with someone technically your stepson or stepdaughter. I bet it is. Today he works at home. I thought it was weird having a, a, a younger nephew. Uh, my brother's significantly older than I am, and uh, his child is uh, almost a year older than I am. Billy works at a home and garden center during the day, but his passion is working at his night job as a DJ, DJ Headline, doing weddings and private parties, and uh, there's more coming up here. 855, 450 free, uh, kind of a 20-year retrospective here on the Mary Kay Letourneau situation. More coming up. This is a message for everyone suffering from acid reflux. Right now, Zimbiotics is inviting you to participate in a special nationwide giveaway of a new breakthrough that actually cures acid reflux. That's right. We're giving everyone who calls in the next 10 minutes a free full-size trial of this life-changing discovery. Just call 1-800-939-5356. If lines are busy, try again. This is an exclusive radio-only offer. Zimbiotics is our number one product for acid reflux, and there's nothing like it. Powered by all-natural, doctor-recommended ingredients, it's scientifically designed to cure acid reflux the healthy and natural way. But you can only get a free trial by calling now. Take part in this special nationwide giveaway and see the results for yourself. If you want to cure your acid reflux, call now to participate in this special nationwide giveaway of Zimbiotics. For your free trial, call 1-800-939-5356 in the next 10 minutes. Hurry, supplies are limited. 1-800-939-5356. 1-800-939-5356. Normal blood pressure, naturally. How would that make you feel? I'm Don from New Mexico. January of 2000, I had a heart attack. Then my real health began going downhill, and I had uh, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, poor vision, and I really wasn't sleeping well. I was a mess, pretty much. Don reports dramatic improvements with heart and body extract. I started taking uh, heart and body extract, and from within a few days, I started sleeping a lot better. My blood pressure uh, normalized, my blood sugar normalized, and uh, my sleep really did improve. Experience these benefits and more when your body gets what it needs with the assistance of heart and body extract. Order at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. That's hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. And folks, I did not expect this at all. By the 7th, 8th, and ninth day, I saw dramatic improvements from taking heart and body extract. Details at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305 for heart and body extract. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. 
freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to freedomsphoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenix.com. Freedomsphoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Take control toll-free here on Free Talk Live. You can bring up what you like, though. Right now we're talking about Mary Kay Letourneau. You may remember that name from the late 1990s where she went to prison for having uh, sexual relations with one of her students in middle school, uh, he was 13 at the time. Sixth grade's middle school? Did they I, say sixth? They did say sixth grade, and sixth he would have grade. been old for sixth for sixth grade at 13. That would be. I Darn remember old. I was I was 13 in eighth grade. Yes. Um. So well, anyway, he was clearly a tr- troubled young man. Well, um, and now he and she have been together for a decade. Uh, it married since she got out of prison after seven and a half years in prison for this. He essentially waited for her. Uh, and then they got together after that. They have two kids together. They are now uh, they're teenagers, as a matter of fact. And so that's uh, ABC News is kind of going in here and doing a, kind of a retrospective. 2020 had an exclusive interview with them last night. And we'll continue with some more excerpts here in a moment. But let's go to True calling from Norfolk, Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, True. Hello. Hi there. Okay, I'm listening to this with faded ears like you're just ruining my whole Saturday. Oh, no. (laughs) Yes, yes, because I totally disagree with all your callers that are calling in saying this is okay. He's 13. He's a boy. Biology, yada, yada. Biology doesn't dictate when you're mentally capable of making that decision. What does dictate that? Well, that would be – that one – it's something and it's an arbitrary number i know that much but i do know that you're not fully cooked at 13 she was in a position of power over that young man Agreed. and when this all this all happened remember now she got pregnant this this ruined his life i mean in my estimation because if you'll recall during all of this she was um his mother had charged the abuse right so there's one there's one player in it then um he had said during her first initial um, sentencing, he had said that she had taken advantage of him. He wanted um, uh, the courts to help him get child support, yada, yada. He can't afford these kids. Uh, I, right. I mean, it, it, it just... They took away the mom. <laughs> well, yeah, but the mom, I mean, what kind of a mother is she? First, she abandoned her other Seems kids. Seems like a good mother. No, she didn't abandon her other kids. It was her husband... Uh, who filed for divorce and he took the kids to Alaska. She didn't abandon them. And in I, fact, she says wait, no, that no, no. she's. I'm talking about she abandoned them when she had a relationship with this boy. She chose a different family unit. Um, but I mean. But you that know. shouldn't be a crime, right? Like, you know, she shouldn't have to go to prison hey, for what she did. Um, yes, as a matter of fact, I do think she should, only because it's, a, it's an application of the law and it's fair. Now, if you'd reverse that with a male doing that to a female. Right. I mean, just because you have a reproductive age doesn't mean that, you know, you can't you can't do harm. Right. I'm trying so, to figure that out for myself, but I don't think that Okay, you think that the best that the only reason or the best reason that this woman went to prison for seven years was to be fair to all the sex, real sex offenders out there. But she wasn't one. Is that kind of what you're saying? Um, I don't know 
if that's exactly what I'm saying. Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, do you? I want a fair application of the law. Do I have all the? Well, answers? I think the law. No. Okay, can can this we agree on sucks. this? Can we agree on this? The law is okay. is a bunch of words written on paper by people who are generally considered to be liars and thieves. <laughs> yeah, we can okay, agree. Okay, excellent. On that. <laughs> so let's try to figure out what's right rather than what's what's legal. Because at this point, politician is synonymous with liar, thief. I mean, it's it's among the the worst things that you can call somebody. So let's let's just forget about laws because that gets really confusing. What's the right thing to do here? And I don't know what the right thing to do is because it feels like this couple has proven that they are dedicated to each other and in love. Okay, so then how do you explain that during, like I said, her, her jail stay the first time, yep. he applied to the court, he said that he was abused, that he was confused, that she did prey on him. So I, all I'm, I'm pointing that out sure. to say that he is not, he wasn't um, mentally capable, you know, mature enough to have like a, a saying, this is my decision, I'm going to make babies now that I can't afford. He is it possible that he did that on his own volition or that someone twisted his arm to do it? Because all the evidence shows that he loves this woman and that well, he was dedicated all evidence, to her. All the evidence besides the evidence that she's giving. Yeah. But I would say that people will say a lot of things to get a check. Absolutely. That's but what I'm thinking. It also goes to show that he's he's... Um, he's vacillated. He's gone back and forth. No, and it shows like, that he'll say he, he'll say a lot. He's it shows that he's normal and he'll say something to get a check. Okay, I can I can go with that. Except for if you've ever listened to the young man speak, um, he doesn't seem like he's all put together. In fact, I would probably have put him on the short bus. When was the last time you uh, heard him speak? Um, when he was uh, um, claiming that it was um, abuse. Fine. That he had preyed on him. I he's think now that's in fine. his early 30s. Do okay, think... so let's say that he's on the short bus. Do you understand that uh -huh. a certain percentage of the population is going to end up on the short bus? Are they able to make sexual decisions? Well, I would hope not. I mean, not no? until they're okay. of age. Well, no, because, again, it, you're not just because you're, you're physically mature doesn't make you mentally mature. I don't disagree I mean, with that. I, mean, I find this a very difficult case. Like, well, the only problem I have with your call is that you're firm. Like, you see, I'm stuck on this. <laughs> you see, I, I don't disagree with the you things know, you're saying. Um, I think the idea of a 31-year-old woman having sex with a 13-year-old uh, young man to be a very disturbing thing. But And that she was in a position of power over Yep, him. that too. Um, all those things are disturbing. But, but when I, I look at it, criminal. I, well, when I look at it, I find the worst thing in this story appears to be the fact that the government sent her to prison because then there wouldn't have been the, the thing about going and asking for the check she the you know the child would have had a mother to uh to take care of it and all that other stuff so this is yeah but how how good of a parent i mean you've got to be pretty more well, what do you want to do give them over to the, the 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 you want to give them over to the uh the, the foster child system where people die uh, where kids die and where get, kids raped? get raped yeah sure no absolutely there not. you go that's terrible. that's terrible i'm a foster parent well that's but like, it's only the news. Are you going to deny that some foster parents have uh, raped the kids in their uh, First off, their, their thank wards? you for being a foster parent, and thank you for being a good one. Everything. But, <laughs> thank you. But no, what I'm saying is she should be in prison and punished for that, uh, taking them away from the children. Who knows what else, what other morally bankrupt things she would do? I mean, uh, uh, I'm just saying that, yes, you have to. You just it, because people uh, don't have the same morals as you doesn't mean they should go to prison. I, I mean, didn't know. She went to prison because she broke the law. The law's wrong, though. Not I mean, the, the okay. law gets in the way well, of real— I got one more point before we go on. Okay. In the, okay. uh, the, the, the islands that run off the coast of Alaska, I think there's Aleutian Islands. I may, might be wrong Aleutian on that Island. one. Right. There's some uh, Native Americans that really don't have much uh, contact with, uh, you know, sort of American society as a whole. They're rather poor sure. and it's hard, difficult for them to get out and that kind of thing. Sure. And many times you're talking about situations there where very young people, 11, 12, 13, can be having sex with much older people. What we would call blatant violations of law. But for some reason, we do nothing about it. Do you think that we, the white folks, should go in there and enforce our rules upon those folks? Well, I don't look at us as we, the white folks. Okay, I mean, do you think that we, the greater American society? Yes or no? We, the greater American uh, if society. You're, if you're taking all the benefits of America, then yes, you should live by the, the same laws as everybody else. Wow. I see. Uh, how about invading foreign countries where they're doing this? Um, like, I, I know this is happening in Papua New Guinea. Do you want to go over there? 
No, I'm not for just doing a general, okay. um, what do you call it, policing the world. Well, um, I, just on moral I, just, I guess no, what I'm, I'm saying is, is there's different cultures, right? And they d- have different rules. Absolutely. Yep. And I'm just Absolutely. wondering. If, so you're saying as long as some. In America, What's that? Then we all have the same rules to live up under. Well, I think it's cr- uh, I think it's a really crappy opinion because many likely the Aleutians didn't choose to be in America. America chose to be in them, right? Um, so, uh, you know, they've got their own culture, and I don't think we should enforce anything upon them. But at least you're somewhat consistent, you know. I mean, as as long as you're in this arbitrary uh, polygon that's drawn on a map, uh, you know shape on a map then uh, then then you got to follow our rules well, I, I still think those rules are written by a bunch of liars and thieves so you know so when just curious i mean you don't have to answer this question uh, true but what was i mean when was your first sexual encounter how old were you um 18 oh you were 18 okay i would 18. say that that could be a little bit unusual um would 17 you, is usual maybe for this age yeah. but you didn't ask me how what how old i am that's true good point i don't i don't have a chart for that i wish i did like how, what is the average age of uh of first time sexual uh encounters by age that would be really interesting but i don't have that right now they're just yeah. saying that 17's common and i don't find that i, I find that to be a pretty common and comforting number well, thank and the other thing the other thing is like, remember she got pregnant two times one was when she was out on probation yeah that's right the lady's making all kinds of bad decisions hard. The lady makes all kinds of bad decisions from from where I sit, but at this point, prison does not appear to have helped the situation. Yeah, what was uh, the point of putting let, her let in her prison? That. To pay for she she committed crimes. Pay pay to What's whom? What's the point of it? Who who'd she pay that pay to you know pay the debt to? Um, when you cannot still keep your job or be loose in society without retribution if you've committed crimes. I mean, she was convicted. Okay. As long as you're not claiming that she paid a debt to anyone, because there's no debt owed. No, she owes us. For the she world. doesn't she owe, doesn't me. owe me, me anything. I absolve her of everything. Well, yeah. You can go ahead and hold everybody in pre- debt, True. I would prefer to not have to be forced to pay to keep people like this in jail. I'd rather have people who are violent and dangerous uh, kept in jail. Thanks, True. More coming up here in moments. It's Free Talk Live, 855 453. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Indefinite extension of the human lifespan is coming. But is it coming soon enough for you and me? That's the $80,000 question. I say $80,000 because that's what it costs to have your head cryonically frozen by Alcor. I've committed to do it. I got a life insurance policy, and I made them the uh, beneficiaries. Bam. Bam. My best shot at living forever. Interested? Contact them at alcor.org. A-L-C-O-R dot O-R-G. Mention my name and I get a free year of membership. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at Facebook.FreeTalkLive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, April 11th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.51 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,208 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $236. 
Antiwar.com reports after over a week of blocking all aid flights into Yemen, Saudi Arabia finally allowed two flights into Sana'a, one from the Red Cross and the other from UNICEF. Two planes loaded with medical aid will barely put a dent in the humanitarian crisis across Yemen since the Saudi war began and will do nothing about the growing food shortages for the nation, which generally imports nearly 90% of its food. The Saudis apparently aren't particularly patient even with the limited aid either, with the UN unsuccessfully trying to convince the Saudis to give them more time to evacuate foreigners on the planes. The Saudi coalition has insisted that they will handle humanitarian and aid to the country, but only once they are convinced that the aid will not hinder their ongoing war aimed at reinstating former President Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports a Florida 8th grader is facing felony hacking charges after he used his school's computer network to prank a teacher with a photo of two men kissing. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako said Dominic Green, 14, used an administrative level password to access the secure computer network at Paul R. Smith Middle School in Holiday on March 31st and changed the desktop background photo to one showing two men kissing. Nako told the Tampa Bay Times, even though some some might say this is just a teenage prank. Who knows what this teenager might have done? Green, who was charged with a felony offense against a computer system and unauthorized access, said he learned the password, a teacher's last name, by watching a teacher type the password in two years ago. Green and several other students were previously suspended for using the password to access the network. Green said, if they would have notified me that it was illegal, I would not have done it in the first place, but all they said was, you shouldn't be doing that. He was suspended for 10 days along with the arrest. His mother, Eileen Foster, said the felony charge does not fit the crime. Foster said he had the chance to get into the FCAT files, he had the chance to change grades, to do whatever you can do in the FCAT files, and he did not take it. I think that alone proves he does not deserve a felony charge. Green said the prank was directed at a teacher he does not like, but it was spotted by a substitute teacher and reported to officials. School District spokeswoman Linda Kobe said the network password is being changed. You can support FPP Radio by joining the Fans Program. You can join the Fans Program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the Fans Program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot fppradio.com. Reuters reports a Secret Service agent was arrested by police in Washington on Friday for allegedly trying to break into the home of a woman while carrying a handgun. D.C. Metropolitan Police Department spokeswoman Gwendolyn Crump said the officer, Arthur Baldwin, was charged with destruction of property and burglary. Baldwin damaged the window and back door of a 23-year-old woman's apartment in southeast Washington while off-duty shortly after midnight. The Washington Post reported that Baldwin's ex-girlfriend lived in the apartment. According According to the police report, Baldwin was carrying a 357 caliber handgun. The arrest is the latest embarrassment for the agency that protects the president and his family. It was criticized as being too insular by an independent panel appointed after a man with a knife scaled the White House fence and ran inside the mansion last year. Secret Service Director Joseph Clancy has ordered that Baldwin's security clearance be suspended and that he be placed on administrative leave. Baldwin, formerly a uniformed officer assigned to the Secret Service's foreign mission branch is being investigated by the agency's Office of Professional Responsibility. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
It's the Onion Radio News. Teen sex is linked to alcohol and drugs by the Center for Figuring Out Really Obvious Things. This is Doyle Redland reporting. An exhaustive four-year, $23 million study of substance abuse and sexual habits of more than 2,500 American teens has confirmed that young people between the ages of 13 and 18 who drink and or use drugs are more likely to be sexually active. Dr. Gerald Eckersley is director of the Boston-based organization. We found that this phenomenon also occurs among adults as well as every population everywhere in the world that has ever existed since the dawn of time. The center has sent a teleprompter to ready press release of its findings to more than 400 local TV news affiliates across the U.S., along with stock video footage of beer displays and teens smoking and drinking at parties. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, you may dial in toll-free to join us here at 855-450-FREE. And the us includes me, Ian. And me, Mark. And we've got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. We're talking about Mary Kay Letourneau. She is back in the news. She was on 2020 last night in an exclusive interview with Barbara Walters where she and her husband, Vili. And their two teenage daughters were, I guess, involved. I haven't seen the interview. I did look for it earlier today, but it wasn't out when I was uh, looking around, or at least I couldn't find it. And they've been together now. Her and Billy have been together for a decade, married together for a decade. They've been together since, uh, as much as they could be, they've been together since 1997 when they first uh, had sex at some point when he was 13 and she was in her early 30s. He's now in uh, his early 30s and she's in her early 50s and they're still together. So how exactly did putting her in prison help anyone that's what I'd like to know. The toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. It, it certainly helps. The last helped. lady said that, uh, that basically it's fair, right? Like if we're going to throw other people in jail for this. Well, then... she said enforce the law. She supports yeah. the law and she wants to see it enforced. Well, I think that if you're going to have laws that you should enforce them. However, what I find to be no, the No, you tr- shouldn't. Not if they're bad laws. Well, what I find to be the truth is that they're never enforced, um, you know, fairly. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, you know, for one, uh, politicians rarely have to follow these things. There's, as a matter of fact, there's a scandal with the uh, the royal family in England having oh. to do with child sex that was going on, right? Oh, right. The, the like, child sex rings, like, big time. So, like, actual children, though. Right. And, I mean, I, I'm just willing to bet that the upper class doesn't have the same folks pounded on their doors that, uh, you know, the people in the middle and lower class. Not only have. that, they actually had the police protecting them for a couple of decades. Yeah, for a couple of decades. So, uh, what we can see with laws is they are, we are not a nation of laws. The, the um, to, So, to aspire to be a nation of laws probably doesn't mean you begin enforcing those laws on the lowest classes. It's the highest classes. If we want to bring class into it it's the highest classes that tend to get away with these things i mean when was the last time you saw a police officer pull over another police officer for rolling through a stop sign or something like that pretty rare or write themselves a ticket i mean surely a police officer Mm -hmm. knows that they've rolled through a stop sign self-hating cop (laughs) and they should write themselves a ticket but they're not going to do that because it's 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 professional courtesy it's one of the perks of the job let's continue with your calls there's a little bit more here from the 2020 story but first mac is in washington state you're on free talk live mac well i haven't thought about this in a long time i've tried to put it out of my mind so i'll try not to stumble through it i'll give you the short version you can't uh, put mary kay Letourneau out of your out of your mind for too long she just keeps coming back anyway go ahead that's right well especially when you live in washington state but anyway uh, i was in a band when i was 19 years old um most people know that one of the ancillary reasons for joining a band uh and playing to get ugly guys laid is to pick up chicks yeah it's true yeah, Groupies. exactly <laughs> yep and uh we were playing this gig in this club and this trashy looking girl everybody wants a trashy looking girl once in a while once in your life um started basically picking up on me and i, I went with it and we had sex a, a few times over the course of the next i think about two or three weeks and um it turns out that she had a fake ID, oh and boy. she was really the first time we had sex. She was thirteen. The, every time after that, we were she was fourteen. Uh, she I looked younger than my age. She looked older than her age. How old were you at that time? She told her I actually I was nineteen. Okay. Um, 
And I actually met her parents, and they talked to me like I was a kid. I figured out later why, because she told them that I was 16. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. So she had this she, – she was good at this. You know, I don't know what kind of upbringing she had, but she, uh, she knew what she wanted, and she went and got it. Mm. So basically my question to uh, True, uh, the last caller, the lady uh, in the last segment of the last hour, uh, and to any other future callers is who should have gone to prison? Should I have gone to prison? Ooh, that's 19, a good point because she committed fraud. She she essentially committed fraud, right? Yeah, like you were right. playing a concert uh, and you presumed that she was, you know, of age because was it an 18 and up show? You had to. Exactly. Yeah. You had to be 18 and up to get into the place in, in the first place. Right. So you figured you were safe so, legally that, you know, the bouncers course, or whatever. Yeah, course, I mean, yeah, I can I see why a person would, uh, you know, uh, it's unreasonable to expect somebody to ask for an ID before a hookup, and she had a fake ID, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, the assumption that I made, which was a natural assumption, was that she was 18 or older. I thought she was exactly 18. And the funny thing is, it's kind of a funny addendum to the story, is that I found out how old she was because her next boyfriend that she got after that wanted to beat me up for some reason. And when he, I worked at a store, I had, I had two jobs at the time. One of them was at the Cumberland Farm store. He showed up at the store to beat me up. I was warned that this guy was going to beat me up. So here comes this child. A, a child comes walking into the store and he goes, uh, are you Steve? My real name is Steve. Are you Steve? Uh, yeah, I'm Steve. Uh, oh, okay. And he kind of walked out and I found out later that that was the, uh, the boyfriend that was coming to beat me up. I mean, he was a child, man. I mean, so you kid. didn't. Uh, and then I was like, how old is this girl? <laughs> so, Mac, you didn't face any uh, legal consequences for this? Her parents never went after you? I n never heard another word about it. In fact, oh, a couple good. of years later, I, I saw her, and uh, I was on leave from the military at the time, and I saw her, and she just said, hey, what's up? How's it going? And all this stuff, just like, yeah, whatever. And so apparently so your relationship with her know, was not a uh, one that at least she considers to be damaging. Yeah, somehow or another it didn't damage her, Oh, apparently. of course not, yeah. Thanks, Mac, I'm, for your I'm call. I'm sure she just went on. Sure. Yep. Appreciate the the story. The toll free number tonight is eight fifty five four fifty free. You can share your thoughts. This is the confusion that goes around with a uh, legal age uh, for sex. Now, I don't know how to get around it personally. I just don't know. I don't have a solution for this. For what? To get around sort of an age of consent. Oh, to have some sort of alternative to it. You mean? Right. I mean, it's, uh, there's going to be rules written down as to far as who gets to have sex with whom, right? Because, I mean— I don't I've, know why there needs to be rules written down. Well, How about just no rape? How about no raping? Yeah, well— No uh, molestation, uh, no uh, rape. Right. But, I mean, okay, so— the fact is, is that uh, <laughs> it's, this gets and how really about people mind their own business. It gets well. really murky because a lot of these uh, relationships are ruined by outsiders. They're, I'm not disagreeing with you. They are Ian. ruined by the parents or the, uh, in this case, with Mary Kay Letourneau, the husband who is now an ex-husband. It was he who uh, intervened in that situation. I was talking with Rich Paul, our Tuesday night co-host. Uh, last night about this, it was actually, he posted this to his Facebook profile, which is how I became aware of it, which then blew up into like a 700 comment thread, uh, including, you know, people calling Rich a pedophile, you know, of course, simply because he just acknowledged that these people had a, a what appears to be a healthy relationship after this, Mary Kay Letourneau and her supposed victim. Uh, but he was talking about how he was at age 13, he was age 13, was with a woman in her early 20s. And he said it was one of the best things that ever happened to him, and he knew exactly what he wanted out of that relationship, and he got it. He actually pursued her. He had to seduce her into having sex with him. Uh, it was his first sexual experience, essentially, as I, as I understood it. But that ended up being screwed up because of, I believe it was his parents, and there was uh, somebody else as well. I don't know if it was her ex or something like somebody else on her side uh, basically went to the the authorities and uh, and screwed everything up.
for them. And he said it really was unfortunate. It was really hard for him not being able to, you know, to be with her anymore. Yeah, I'm look, I'm not claiming that there aren't consequences to these rules. I'm only saying I don't know how to get around them. And the reason is, is because at some point, somebody's going to decide that there is some age that's too young mm -hmm. to consent to sex. And like, maybe you don't even know what it means. I'm sure. pretty sure that 13 and 14 and 15 year olds know what it means but um you know the, you don't understand the consequences of having sex with somebody who's significantly older well, a mentally imbalanced or a you know mentally deficient person may not know what sex is at age 20 there right? are people that have been put in prison for having sex with people who are just that dumb right like they're just you know too uh, the, the government says they're too dumb to decide to have sex and uh, so you know they they no they can't consent uh, obviously a person who's a vegetable can't consent at some point or another there needs to be some sort of sets of rules as far as consent goes it seems like we'll come back with more here in moments 855 450 free that's 855 450 3733 i think the rule is that a young person should be able to decide uh, on their own volition when they're mature enough and when they're ready. Uh, that, of course, you know, means different things for different people. And I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with that. You're welcome to share your thoughts here. It's Free Talk Live. Warning. If you've recently declared bankruptcy, you're going to want to change the station because there's an alternative to bankruptcy and it's faster than you'd ever think possible. But if you've already declared bankruptcy and have missed this opportunity, you'll want to change the station now. Here it is. Right now, the company that has resolved more credit card debt than anyone in the U.S. is available to settle your debt, too. You may reduce your debt with one low monthly program payment. If you call right now, Freedom Debt Relief will show you how low your monthly program payment could be for free. Call now. 1-800-399-1993. That's 1-800-399-1993. If you're struggling with debt, this could be your answer. And the bigger your debt, the more money you could save. To find out for free how much of your hard-earned money Freedom Debt Relief could help you save, call now. 1-800-399-1993. 1-800-399-1993. 1-800-399-1993. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. 
Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Mary Kay Letourneau and her supposed victim have been together in a marriage now for a decade. They've got two teenage daughters, and of course they've known each other since he was age 13. He was not only ready mentally to have sex at that time, at least that's what he believed, Uh, apparently, but he was also ready physically. He was able to impregnate her, not once, but twice. Uh, You can share your thoughts with us here at 855-450-FREE. Now, uh, let's, Mark, briefly talk about how one can get free shipping on some of the fanciest wine out there for a very, very shockingly low price. Yeah, um, Cameron Hughes, uh, what what he does is he goes to the highest end wineries in Napa Valley and around the world. But he sort of he has a lot of uh, Napa Valley um, wineries. There's a lot there, and what he does is he buys the extra. Any business is going to have overage in product, and mm-hmm. so the overage of in product of the highest end wineries is really good wine, right? And you don't want let that to go to waste. What these wineries don't do is they don't want to they don't want to flood the market with their own name brand, mm. so they allow him to take it and then put it under his own label uh, with just sort of a lot number, you know, lot 479 or something like that. Yep. And that way you're able to know which, you know, I like that lot 479. I don't know where it came from, but it sure was tasty. Well, that was my experience when we had the wine tasting here. Is, is the six bottles we got were fantastic. We have three more sitting there waiting for our next uh, wine tasting with the, the whole Free Talk Live crew. It's difficult to get them all together in I'm one place. I'm ready to start tonight. Yes. Why wait? No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, it's not fair because we have to have the co-hosts around and I'm not yeah. just going to, yeah. So anyway, you can go to chwine.com and experience this really great way to get incredible discounts. So these bottles will be 70 to to $100. He's selling them from anywhere between 12 and 30 regular price yeah regular prices right. for that's not a special <laughs> discount the discount right. is free shipping although some of them are discounted further than regular price, right so right? with the special our special code ftl ftl is in free talk live you can get 20 percent off of select bottles and free shipping so free shipping on every bottle there on the whole site with coupon code ftl and free shipping. What you do is you go to chwine.com. You click the microphone in the upper left-hand corner. You enter FTL. Then you do your shopping. Um, I recommend trying those selected wines, getting the additional 20% off. Sounds like a great deal. chwine.com. Click on the microphone in the upper left. Enter FTL. You can comment on uh, the Mary Kay Letourneau situation, Age of Consent in general, or whatever's on your mind at 855-450-FREE. I also thought Max's question was really interesting. He was the guy who called in who was in a band at age 19. There was a girl who got into the club, which was supposed to be 18 and up, meaning that they were checking IDs. She had a fake one. Uh, And she was 13 at the time. He had sex with her, you know, as some bandmates do with groupies. And then he had sex with her again when she was 14 without knowing how old she actually was. And his question was, who was it that committed the crime in there? Who, Who was it that should face a criminal charge? If, you know, which one of those two? Because he didn't know. And does that matter? And she committed fraud. Does that matter to you? The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't really care. I mean, they don't want young ladies to have sex. But once they do, they're not ready to throw them in jail for it because they understand that it's not particularly um, valuable. I think that in our society... Men's uh, sexuality is considered to be prurient and disgusting, where women's is, you know, whatever, playful, delightful, um, you know, worthy of interest, that kind of thing. Um, You know, I mean, it's just it's, you know, there are different standards and whatever those standards might be. We've got Danny. He's in Lynchburg, Virginia, listening to WLNI FM. Hello, Danny. Hey, guys. Um, Great show tonight. I was listening to that guy that you just mentioned. Oh, is his name Max? 
uh, Mac. Yeah, Mac. I was cringing listening to that, going, God, I hope he didn't get busted. I hope he didn't get busted. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's a bad situation. And what I was calling about, I was like, man, I've had a very similar situation. But I think what it comes down to is your moral, your, your morals, what you were raised uh, to do. For me, uh, what happened, I was home on leave from the Army, and I was in Nags Head, North Carolina. And um, I was at this beach party. I was hanging out with this girl. She was gorgeous. I mean, this girl was stunning. I think the only reason she was hanging out with me was because she had beer goggles, but I wasn't, I wasn't asking. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was beautiful. Um, long story short, without a lot of details, I know we're a bunch of guys talking and all, but there are FCC rules. Yep. We start messing around, um, and something told me, ask her how old she is. And I said, how old are you? And she said, I'm 15. Whoa. And I was like, I pulled. I pulled away. And um, I said, you know what? How far away are you staying from here? And she said, oh, stay with my family like three blocks away. I'm like, come with me. And uh, I walked her home. I walked her back to the house her parents had rented, and her dad was sitting on the porch. And um, here I come, you know, 20-year-old kid, high and tight. Uh, and um, I said, sir, I just wanted to bring your daughter uh, back to the house. He said, I thought she was upstairs asleep. And I said, well, <laughs> sir, uh, she was at a beach party with a bunch of adults, and I didn't feel comfortable with her being out. And this was at 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay, tell me yeah. how many 20-year-old kids would do that today. Not many. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe as many. Who knows? Uh, who knows the answer? What did he say? Yeah. There'd, there'd be a few. Uh, what is that? What did he say after you told him this? He invited me to sit down and have a beer with him. <laughs> And Literally, what did she do? She get thing. did she get in trouble? Was she like banished? Into uh, the- yeah, she kind of had her head hanging a little bit, and um, he said, "Young lady, why don't you go inside?" And uh, he said, "Would you like a beer before you head back down to the beach?" And I said, "Sure, I'll have a beer with you." And we sat there and talked for a little bit. He goes, "What do you do?" I said, "I'm in the army, sir." And everything was yes, sir, no, sir. I said, "Sir, you know, I want to get back to my, you know, my friends and stuff. I don't want to leave them. They don't know this area." Um, and uh, I said, I just wanted to make sure she made it home. And he said, hey, I, uh, he thanked me. He literally thanked me, shook my hand and said, you have a nice night. Thank you. And that was it. It was gone. Yeah. But um, well, I'm glad it turned out that I, way. But, I mean, it certainly could have gone another way if you hadn't have asked. Um, well, I tell you what, I was I was on pins and needles. I was thinking, man, I got three blocks to get this girl back to her parents. And I already look young. I'm only 20. I'm half trashed as it is. Yep. This girl's 15. She's in my custody, and if I get stopped by a cop, my my career is over. I'm done. And um, I got her back there as fast as I could. I started to relax a little bit. I didn't know what her dad's reaction was going to be, but he sure. was really cool about it. Yeah, and I'm not and, sure. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure. I don't know whether you didn't really. You weren't specific as what sort of happened physically, but I'm not even entirely sure that kissing on some 15 year old isn't in and of itself a crime. That is generally a felony, yeah. from what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I, we I didn't get would, to we yeah. didn't get to the to the act. We were getting there. And, but um, even yeah, even a even a French stopped. kiss may be uh, maybe considered a felony in in jurisdiction. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and I certainly don't want you. To, yeah, I don't want you to confess to older. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm, I'm in my mid thirties now. Statutes up. Anyways, um, I, I uh, you know my my thing became you know look when it comes to these younger girls or whatever. I knew guys that were like, oh, 15, 16 is fine. To me, frankly, a 15- or 16-year-old, the only thing she can do is bring me a soda at McDonald's. That's it. Um, I'll wait until they're into their mid-20s, preferably, you know. How old did you think she was that night? I thought she was, honestly, uh, guys, I'll be honest with you. I thought she was close to I thought she was 18, 19 years old, maybe my age. This girl did not look 15. She did not kiss 15. They never do. Thanks for the call tonight, Danny. Appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Did, did he say she didn't kiss 15? I'm not sure what he said. All right. There's more coming up here in moments. This <laughs> is Free Talk Live. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy. So you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. 
GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read chapter one at SurvivorMax.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Because we are smothering in spam, please do not reply to all when you can instead reply. I was recently among over a hundred invited to a corporate reunion. It's always a warm affair, and that's the problem. Enthusiasm for our upcoming get-together caused many recipients to RSVP the organizer with a cheery reply to all. I can't wait. Then others piled on with a reply to all to that. Then the, I'm out of my office now, autoresponders joined in. So I replied to all, asking that we all reply only to the organizer. Hey, at least I tried. One invitee, apparently retired, shot back, point taken, but I really like seeing the responses since they're so positive. Smiley face. This better be an open bar. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Welcome to, uh, to more Free Talk Live here on the live Saturday edition of the program. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Mary Kay Letourneau, She's been out of prison for a decade, and she's been married to her supposed victim ever since she got out. They're celebrating 10 years of marriage now. Their daughters are in their teenage years. And uh, if you want to comment, you're welcome to join us here. 855-453 is the toll-free number. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Joining you in studio, Ian here. And Mark. Uh, let's jump right back into your calls and thoughts. We've got John listening in Michigan, WSJM. Hello, John. Hello. Yeah, Hi, John. You're on the air. What's going on? So, yeah, I just checked into my hotel room. Um, I pulled into Michigan, and I heard you guys' radio show. Quick question was... for you, John, real quick. Uh, are you on, like, a headset or something? You sound very muffled. It's It's hard to really understand you. Can you hear me now? Better, yes. Go ahead. All right, awesome. Yeah, no, I pulled into Michigan. Me and my drummer are coming up to play a show, um, and I heard your radio show, and no, we were shocked. 
that you guys were actually um, talking about having sex with 13-year-olds and condoning um, statutory rape. And we can't even believe you guys. I mean, are you guys serious? Do you think it's okay for an adult male to have sex with a 13-year-old adolescent? Well, I'm not sure that I can answer that question. I don't think I am okay with that. Um, however, okay. in retrospect, looking at this story 10 years later about um, this, this Letourneau gal, you're familiar with the story, right? Oh, no, of course I'm familiar with the story. Yeah. But what you have to understand is when we look at research, when we look at history, okay, even in science, in psychology, you're not allowed to take anecdotal evidence and use that as part of your sure. greater association of society. So one anecdote where a 13-year-old married the woman who raped him does not mean that statutory rape is okay. In fact, that one situation is even stranger because that it was strange. 13 years old. Why is he marrying a woman twice his age? So, but Maybe let me he ask loves you this. her. Let me ask you this, though. I mean, we know that puberty, uh, you know, this is, we, we know when puberty onsets, okay, and this we is do about know the when age. puberty happens. We also know when the brain develops, okay? Yeah, it Children, doesn't, it doesn't finish developing until 25. Developed. John, I think Wait, Mark John, was going to ask you a question. John, you interrupted the brain exactly. doesn't de finish developing until 25. I don't think that's a very exactly. relevant piece of information. Oh, I think that is very relevant. Do you think I it should raise the age of consent thought. to 25? That would be awesome. No. That's I better think for everybody. The age of consent. At 18 is a fine age. I think having a it's discussion 16 in about New Hampshire. old um, is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. okay? That's like what, for but, you to be on air and say a 13, 14, 15-year-old is old enough to decide that they can have sex with an adult is disgusting. Are they old it's enough disgusting. to decide if they can have sex with uh, someone their same age? Oh, yes. If two 13-year-olds decide they want to play doctor while their parents are out of town, that's what children do okay. okay if two 16 year olds decide they want to go to prom and hook up in the back seat of their car that's what 16 year olds do but what we're trying to explore male, here john 18 or over decides to um prey upon someone who is not fully developed <laughs> that is a crime okay that john crime. how no old laughing. yeah you, well, you can talk me into the dirt that's fine he john, doesn't want to have a conversation john i hear let me tell you this Okay, if you're John, in prison, listen okay, to me. I've been in prison. <laughs> I'm the only one here who's been okay. in prison in this conversation. I, I put him on hold. Listen to okay. me, man. The I don't fact know if he's is, listening, but I put him on hold. <laughs> you have to be able to come up with some numbers here. Exactly what age is this 18-year-old male preying upon? Is it a 16-year-old? Is it a 15-year-old? Because I don't know. Oh, I mean, yes. What's yes, that? Yes, it is. You are wrong. An 18-year-old male and a 15-year-old girl is a predatory Okay, situation. great. Predatory. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. We've got a number yeah. here. Now, how about 16? John, 16. 18 what, and 16. What you're asking is if he's 18 and she's 16, is that right. predatory? Or she's 18 and he's 16. Oh, yeah. That's predatory. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay. Are you for real? Wait, wait a second, John. Yeah. What if they were 15 and 17 and going out, and then they turn, and then she turns 16, and um, and then later he turns 18? Is that predatory? It's not if the relationship started when they were both it's, of the same age. I don't think you should put kids in school together that you don't expect to have uh, some kind of sexual relations. I think it's crazy to put freshmen yeah, and seniors together and expect them not to get together. What do you say, John? I'm curious about the uh, the you know, gentleman what, earlier. John, I got a, I've got a question for you. What would you say about our co-host Rich Paul from uh, Tuesday nights on Free Talk Live? He said that he was 13 and he was with a woman who was, uh, I think, 23 or 24 at the time, and that he pursued her. Who was the predator in that situation? Well, she was entirely. As an adult, she should have told him that as a child, he does not have a right to have a sexual relationship with an adult. How can you call? Um, how can you call a young man a child who was able to decide for himself that he wanted to have sex and then proceeded to engage in the act of sex? How how can someone who is sexually developed enough to impregnate someone be considered a child in that case? You're wrong. You're just wrong. I'm asking you a question. That's a question. Because because. Um, just because someone has the physical ability to reproduce does not mean they are physically or well, mentally. Well, by definition, that means they're not a child, right? Because a child is someone who hasn't no, hit puberty not. yet. No, they're not. No? That's, that's, that, why that's don't you go wrong. look up child in the dictionary? Thanks for the call tonight, John. I feel like he's using child in that circumstance as a rhetorical cudgel. Um, and I... I don't think this is as easy as uh, John has it all laid out. I'm, I think it's awesome that these two band members are not messing around with uh, people who are 17. <laughs> I think that's, you know, this is the best. There's, he's checking IDs every time one of his groupies wants to go backstage. I don't have, a, he could play the sousaphonist for all I know. But um, 
this is the best attitude for a young man to have is, is that I'm just not going to do it mm-hmm. unless um, I'm certain of her age. That's a really good way to go about things and likely will keep you out of prison. But I think the problem is, is that, you know, when when you have kids together going to school, I know that there were freshmen and seniors dating in my high school in 1987. He would say those seniors were predators. They aren't. Then, then why put seniors with freshmen if you don't have this expectation? <laughs> right, don't I mean, put the prey in with the, the don't put the sheep in the uh, with the wolves. It right? doesn't make any sense that <laughs> one would do this. So I think that there needs to be some age, right? Like some stretch of ages. And I tend to think that four years um, is, you know, about where we're at, maybe three years or something like that, sort of. um, And I feel like there should be some bottom number. And I'm not sure where that bottom number is, but I have met women who've told me they had sex at 13 years old that seem reasonably well developed, reasonably well adjusted as adults. I've met them at all different ages of adults. And, you know, that that's what they've decided to do and it you know that's what they decided to do back then it didn't scar them for life or anything like that i think that to some extent it's sort of the societal pressure that might be the worst problem here oh she's disempowered oh he can't make that decision they're too young um i'm not advocating for this decision my advocation would be wait until you are ready because unless you wait until you're ready you're always going to have this kind of nagging feeling about the situation. Um, I had a friend who her first uh, sexual encounter was because some guy kept on saying, "Come on, let's do it." Oh, come on, come on. I bet that was on. awful. Right. I mean, it's a it's a it's a terrible um, reason to have sex for somebody, yeah. and it's got to be really upsetting. But uh, you know, I mean, are you gonna let it run your life? I don't think he should go to prison for it. Right. Let's go and continue with your calls and thoughts here. We've got Dana in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Dana, you're on Free Talk Live, our toll-free number 855-450-FREE. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Um, You're probably not going to like this, but um, good for you, John. He made some excellent points. What are the points? He's got it together. I I wish more men were more responsible. I wish Um, men were responsible, too. Not but let me let me say a couple of things. You're asking for a number. If we had to come up with a number, I'm not. I'm not asking hard. for a number either. I'm, I'm I'm asking for just sort of look. Can I finish? Okay. Yeah, you can finish. But you're c- claiming that I'm asking for a number, and I'm really asking for a set of rules that really make sense to me. Okay, that's where. It, well, okay, maybe I used the wrong word, but okay, I great. I heard the word number. I'd love a okay, number. Okay, so um, if we if we had to have a number right now. Um, because it's old enough for now females as well as males to go and die for the country, then I would say 18. Um, I have some a couple other things to say. Great. Right, I want points. you to hang on. We'll bring you back um, for that here in a moment. Uh, in Canada, up until a few years ago, it was 14. 14 was the age of consent. Mm-hmm. That's because they had First Nations there that didn't hadn't sort of assimilated into the greater culture, and they didn't want to go throwing them in prison. You know what else uh, in Canada during that time frame? They actually had fewer instances of teenage pregnancy per capita than did the United States. Interestingly, 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read chapter one at SurvivorMax.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If you constantly feel run down and tired, your pH level might be low and your body could be full of toxins. If what you drink is not at a pH level of 8 or higher, you are inviting bacteria and acid to thrive in your body. But there is something you can do. Simply add 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops to your water to help your body rid itself of acidic waste, increase oxygen, and raise your pH balance to optimum levels. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops combine a unique formula of the most alkaline minerals in the world. Alkalizing the water you 
you drink, ridding your body of acidic waste and toxins, and helping you regain energy and vibrant health. And studies show viruses, bacteria, and toxins cannot survive in an alkaline, high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. Free Talk Live. When you call a government bureaucracy, more often than not, the person who you talk to will not know the answer to your question, but they'll tell you they think they know who the person is that has the answer, and they pass will pass the you, pass the buck to that other person, and if they happen to pick up the phone, they'll usually pass on the buck, or you'll leave a voicemail and never hear back from anybody. Right. I mean, I, I wasn't being rude as a PSA at all. I was, you know, I, the third person I talked to, she was getting pretty hot under the collar. It's like, you know, what are you being so angry for? I'm just asking regular questions any person would. Well, she's probably upset that she had to pick up her phone and talk to one of the little peons like yeah, you. She's probably annoyed at uh, her underlings who actually gave you her phone number and let you get through to her. Yeah, that's probably the case. She's one, She just wants to play solitaire, and you interrupted her uh, her game, or she just wants to surf <laughs> on the internet, and uh, you, you just ruined her day. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. We're doing the live Saturday edition. We do a live everyday edition here on Free Talk Live. Uh, in fact, we don't ever take a day off, basically. I mean, between the two of us, Mark, you and I, we take one day off a week, but uh, we've got great co-hosts that to come in and we're not off on the same day. And so we'll take your calls any day about anything you want to discuss. That is the point of Free Talk Live. By the way, if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, whether you agree with you know our viewpoint or not on any given night, if you like the idea that we're spreading the ideas of freedom typically here on Free Talk Live, then you should get behind the show with uh, Free Talk Live's AMP program. The AMP program is available at amp.freetalklive.com. It's five bucks a month. And you can get access to special AMP perks like the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only podcast, the AMP-only Facebook group, and more. You do it with any major credit card through PayPal or Visa or MasterCard right there on our website over at amp.freetalklive.com. That's A-M-P, amp.freetalklive.com. Dana is back with us here in Grand Rapids. We've been talking about Mary Kay Letourneau. She's uh, now been with her supposed victim for a decade. They've got two teenage girls. Everything appears to be good in their relationship. Relationship, except for the whole seven plus years she had to spend in prison prior to their marriage. Let's go to because she had sex with him at age 13. She was in her early 30s and his teacher at the time. I say she should have been fired because she was in a position of power over him, but I don't think she needed to go to prison. This wasn't a crime. He didn't have a problem with what was happening. He consented. He wanted to be a part of that. I have a, I have pr- a problem with the whole scenario. I mean, there's all, there's there's problems all the way through this. You're not his story. dad. Indeed, I'm not. It, I wish he had had one at home. Things might have been a different for him and better in his life. I don't know what um, exactly occurred there. But Dana, who's on the line, has suggested that people be over the age of 18 before consenting to sex. And I'm looking here at the Guttmacher uh, study on American teens' sexual and reproductive health, and it says that 
48% of people, um, uh, teens at the age of uh, 17, have reported having sex today. Dana, what do we do about this 48% of uh, lawbreakers? Well, I'm, I'm well aware of the stats, but this is just, you know, we're talking hypotheticals here. I want to make two other points besides the age of 18 that both should be at least have attained the age of 18. If you're old enough to die, then you should be old enough to, you know, um, have sex. Even though I'm sure we can all agree there are 40-year-olds who are who are less mature in all ways or maybe just one way than some kids who are 16 years yep. old. Yep. That said, I want to address two things very specifically and make an age adjustment about what I said. But first I want to address Laterno. What she did to him at 13, she stunted his growth. His mental growth is psychologically emotional. We will never know what he would have become if he would have become like your caller, John, or like you, Mark, saying that this was inappropriate because he now thinks this is appropriate because it— No, actually, he doesn't think that. Actually, before you go putting words in his mouth, the uh, end of the article, which we didn't reach here, at the very end of the ABC News report, he says, I don't support younger kids being married or having a relationship with someone older. I don't support it, he said. Generally, people don't who've done it. No, that's not what I meant. No, that's not what I meant. Um, I am aware of the situation, but um, what I'm saying is that he went along with it. So had he allowed to be 13, 14, 15, 16, he might have grown up having a normal relationship with someone his own age or maybe, you know, a little bit younger, you know, because sometimes guys will date someone a year or two younger or something. But um, so we'll never know what would have been. That's one thing I, w- I want to say, the damage that she did. Even That's though your opinion that she did damage. In, okay. in Rich and Paul's it, case, uh, he said it was one of the best things that ever happened to him, to have someone who was caring okay, uh, be intimate that. with him. Right, but... But that's what he felt at that time. No, that's what he feels and today, again, and Rich Paul is now in his 40s. Okay, but the thing is, is, he never knows where he would have been had he allowed Who to. Who cares? Least... You can second guess your whole life like that. I don't, I don't know where I would have been had I not but done. Can I uh, you know, you've been talking you for like more than a segment here, well, You've made a claim, and I want to. Um, uh, no, have... I haven't. Yes, you I have. haven't made been able to get several out. Several points. That's, my go two ahead. points. You, well, not your two points. Was the first. Okay, okay, so Dana, no, when you the say. No, the was listen, the first. Listen, the Dana. Second point. Listen, I'm going to tell you about how talk radio goes, Dana. So when you say there's two points, I know you call a lot, but please listen to me for a second. When you say there's two points, it means you bring one point up, we discuss it, and then you bring the second point up and we discuss it. And my concern with your statement that somehow he's damaged by having sex um, at 13, that may or may not be true. The difficulty is is that this disempowers somebody throughout their life. I don't know if it's true. Um, I, I mean, you know, he doesn't mature. How does this claim come about that suddenly people's maturity stops the, the moment that they have sex? I had sex at 17. I didn't I have, say okay. I didn't say I didn't say it disempowers them through life. Those are your words. I'm saying you don't know what that person right. would That's have. That's true. Get to your second point. That's true. You do not know. And then the second and then the second point was if we really had a pin and age on this, and this includes 30, 40, 50 year olds, this is what I say. Every time you have sex even if it's protected, because things happen even when it's protected. Even men who have been clipped can get someone pregnant. Things happen. And I say, unless you can take care of that child, and not your mother and dad raising it, but you taking care of it, then you don't have sex. Because Fair I'm enough, I kind of like that one. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. But uh, there's another point to be made, and that is that society restricts young people from being able to take care of themselves by preventing them through laws, by preventing them from going and getting jobs and starting, you know, essentially their own companies and businesses. Uh, they make it impossible for someone who's a young entrepreneur to start their own business beyond, you know, a lemonade stand. And even sometimes they crack down on lemonade stands. Uh, so there's, there's very, it could be that young people would be able to get out and get into the working world earlier 
and mature faster. But it seems like the uh, the system has been set up to prevent that from happening until some politicians think it's okay. But I do agree that you should be uh, you, you, any action you take, you should be prepared to deal with the ramifications. Yeah, I think that's true as well. Let's uh, continue here. Mary is listening in Indiana, listening to WIBC FM in Indianapolis. Hey, Mary. Yes. My call is uh, directed to the person before the news and everything about the 15-year-old. It, it, it just did something to me when I heard the man. I know the young man wanted to do right, but when he said she hung her head down, it could be because that might not have been her father. I wish he could have had more proof if that was her father or if that was somebody in drug, uh, uh, human trafficking, where's the mother? Why would he have a drink with him? Most fathers would That's have a interesting. shotgun. Your, before you go on, I want you to, to uh, I want to recap for our listeners who don't know what you're talking about. So the story was a man who was in the military, he was on leave, he was at a beach party, met a teenager who uh, he found very attractive. Before things got too hot and heavy, he asked her how old she was. She said 15. He then walked her back to her home after having asked her where she was. You're suggesting that she might have been in some sort of uh, sex trafficking ring? If that were the case, it why could. would she... If that were the case, why would she have told him where uh, where she lived? That wouldn't make any sense if she I didn't mean, want to go back there. She couldn't get she couldn't get away from where she was. Well, she was away. She was with that never, guy at his house. No, but at a party on the beach. They they have them to go where they go and do what they do, but you don't you just don't know how things are. There's so many scams and different things out there, and people doing different things. And these scammers are one step ahead of everybody. I don't want to minimize, Mary. I don't want to minimize that sex trafficking happens. There's no doubt about it. It absolutely does happen, and it's horrible, and it's you know slavery of the you know the worst order. Uh, but I don't know if that was what was happening in this case. So it's interesting though that you brought it up. Is there anything else that you want to share? The thing is, a dad would have a shotgun for the man. Well, why not- would you have a beer with the man? I thought no, I thought it a plausible he story. Back. He brought her home. No, 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 no. Hmm. They well. would still be mad. I'm I'm serious. A- an average dad that loves their daughter, they would see red. Yeah, I, don't I think care. That, you know, they I get... would hear what they what they're saying. But I'm telling you that something ain't right. All right, all right. Well, you, you, you know, her her Scooby sense has been activated. Thank you for the call, uh, Mary. Appreciate it. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. You know, maybe she's right. Maybe there was something else going on in that situation. But I think that it was Occam's such an... razor suggests that yeah. you should uh, you, you should assume the most likely thing. And I suppose the most likely thing he did not claim that he grabbed the woman by her hair and drug her back to her right. house, or even had her arm. Um, so I would think that you're. You know, I mean, like she if she didn't want to go back to her house, she could have just not gone back. But I, yeah. I could be wrong. Who knows? And as far as her dad being angry, I bet he was prepared to be angry. But when he heard the explanation, like, oh, who's this guy? Why is he with my daughter? And then he gave that explanation. He didn't have to walk the girl back, right? So, I don't know. It sounded like a plausible story. Hour three is coming up. You can share your thoughts. Warning. If you've recently declared bankruptcy, you're going to want to change the station. Because there's an alternative to bankruptcy, and it's faster than you'd ever think possible. But if you've already declared bankruptcy and have missed this opportunity, you'll want to change the station now. Here it is. Right now, the company that has resolved more credit card debt than anyone in the U.S. is available to settle your debt, too. You may reduce your debt with one low monthly program payment. If you call right now, Freedom Debt Relief will show you how low your monthly program payment could be for free. Call now. 1-800-399-1993. That's 1-800-399-1993. If you're struggling with debt, this could be your answer. And the bigger your debt, the more money you could save. To find out for free how much of your hard-earned money Freedom Debt Relief could help you save, call now. 1-800-399-1993. 1-800-399-1993. 1-800-399-1993. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. 
His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, April 11th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.51 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,208 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $236. Antiwar.com reports after over a week of blocking all aid flights into Yemen, Saudi Arabia finally allowed two flights into Sana'a, one from the Red Cross and the other from UNICEF. Two planes loaded with medical aid will barely put a dent in the humanitarian crisis across Yemen since the Saudi war began and will do nothing about the growing food shortages for the nation, which generally imports nearly 90% of its food. The Saudis apparently aren't particularly patient even with the limited aid either, with the UN unsuccessfully trying to convince the Saudis to give them more time to evacuate foreigners on the planes. The Saudi coalition has insisted that they will handle humanitarian aid to the country, but only once they are convinced that the aid will not hinder their ongoing war aimed at reinstating former President Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports a Florida 8th grader is facing felony hacking charges after he used his school's computer network to prank a teacher with a photo of two men kissing. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako said Dominic Green, 14, used an administrative level password to access the secure computer network at Paul R. Smith Middle School in Holiday on March 31st and changed the desktop background photo to one showing two men kissing. Nako told the Tampa Bay Times, even though Some might say this is just a teenage prank. Who knows what this teenager might have done? Green, who was charged with a felony offense against a computer system and unauthorized access, said he learned the password, a teacher's last name, by watching a teacher type the password in two years ago. Green and several other students were previously suspended for using the password to access the network. Green said, if they would have notified me that it was illegal, I would not have done it in the first place. But all they said was, you shouldn't be doing that. He was suspended for 10 days along with the arrest. His mother, Eileen Foster, said the felony charge does not fit the crime. Foster said he had the chance to get into the FCAT files. He had the chance to change grades, to do whatever you can do in the FCAT files, and he did not take it. I think that alone proves he does not deserve a felony charge. Green said the prank was directed at a teacher he does not like, but it was spotted by a substitute teacher and reported to officials. School District spokeswoman Linda Kobe said the network password is being changed. You can support FPP Radio by joining the Fans Program. You can join the Fans Program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the Fans Program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot F-P-P-Radio.com. 
Reuters reports a Secret Service agent was arrested by police in Washington on Friday for allegedly trying to break into the home of a woman while carrying a handgun. D.C. Metropolitan Police Department spokeswoman Gwendolyn Crump said the officer, Arthur Baldwin, was charged with destruction of property and burglary. Baldwin damaged the window and back door of a 23-year-old woman's apartment in southeast Washington while off-duty shortly after midnight. The Washington Post reported that Baldwin's ex-girlfriend lived in the apartment. According According to the police report, Baldwin was carrying a 357 caliber handgun. The arrest is the latest embarrassment for the agency that protects the president and his family. It was criticized as being too insular by an independent panel appointed after a man with a knife scaled the White House fence and ran inside the mansion last year. Secret Service Director Joseph Clancy has ordered that Baldwin's security clearance be suspended and that he be placed on administrative leave. Baldwin, formerly a uniformed officer assigned to the Secret Service's foreign missions branch is being investigated by the agency's Office of Professional Responsibility. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's the Onion Radio News. All seven deadly sins were committed at a church bake sale. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Avarice, sloth, envy, lust, gluttony, pride, and wrath. All seven of the fabled deadly sins were committed on Sunday at the twice-annual bake sale at St. Mary's of the Immaculate Conception Church. According to St. Mary's treasurer, Beth Ellen Coyle, church-sponsored events are a notorious breeding ground for these treasonous acts against the Lord God. This is supposed to be about the glorification of God, not violating His Word. Do that and you're no better than that cheap strumpet Melissa Wyckoff with those sinful chocolate cookies of hers. The Seven deadly sins were first outlined in the 5th century by Gregory the Great, who himself was, as indicated by his very name, toying dangerously with the sin of pride. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like at 855-450-FREE. And as we're inside the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live, Mary Kay Letourneau back in the news. She's now in her early to mid-50s, and her supposed victim, Vili, is her husband. You might remember the story from the late 1990s when Vili was age 13, and she was, I think, 30-something, early 30s. Uh, He had sex with her. And on more than one occasion, apparently, uh, and on one of those occasions, actually two of them, he got her pregnant. They have two uh, kids. They're now in their teens, or two females uh, in their teens, and they're all together. Everybody's still together. They're celebrating uh, 10 years of marriage right now. So that was what was on 2020 last night with Barbara Walters. There's a little more to the story. If we have time, we'll tell you about it. But obviously this has led to a discussion about age of consent and who's a predator in what situation and what should the ideal legal status uh, be because it seems to me that the current rules do not work very well, that they end up putting people behind bars for simply fooling around, for simply exploring uh, their sexuality at you know various different ages. We even had somebody say that 18 to 15 was predatory uh, earlier, meaning that uh, someone who was 18 with a 15-year-old would be a predatory event. And so everybody's got different opinions on this particular issue, which is why I feel like most people should just butt out. If it's not your kid, if it's not your family, if it's not your direct situation, then really it's it, your morals don't matter to me in that circumstance. I had a girlfriend in high school that was uh, like 18 months younger than I was. And that would mean that um, I, I can't remember the exact ages, but that would mean that at certain times, like she would have been 15 and I would have been 17. Uh, she would have been 16 and I would have been 18. So that's, I mean, as far as the the chronological age, you need to consider when you say two years, it's not actually two years. It's much more like 366 days. Let's talk to Amber. She's in California. Amber, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hi, um, I was wanted to talk about the Letourneau case. Yeah, please. And I just want to say that um, I believe age is just a number. Um, I was actually married to, um, when I was 16, to a guy that was um, 36. Wow. And we were married for, um, yeah. Wait, now, wait, uh, we just married... before you go on, did you have to get permission from your parents to do that? Yes, my mother. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, 
we we lived in Oklahoma for three years, and it was okay. And um, then I, he just got controlling, so I ended up leaving. My mom came to get me. And I don't regret it at all. I don't think he was a predator. I think that um, age is just a number, and I wouldn't change it if I had a choice. I w- I would, I'm happy of the decision I made. He, uh, do you have kids with him? No, I do not. Yeah, so um, many people would claim, you know, so that the claims have been made on the air tonight that uh, you're somehow scarred and damaged by this, and you don't even know it. What do you? How do you respond to that? I, I don't think I am. I mean, he was kind of controlling, but um, not in the I beginning, though. He do- did, he became controlling, or yeah, yeah, he became controlling, and. And um, was it I like the kind that, of controlling? Um, I'm sorry to keep interrupting. Was it like the kind of controlling, oh. like he didn't want you going out with your male friend, that kind of controlling? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I mean, jealous. And I had to, yeah, exactly, very jealous. But you know, it, it made me realize oh, what kind of man I wanted in the future, and it made me be able to be a strong woman. Like I don't let men walk all over me because that's what he did to me, and it just. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like I'm a victim, but I guess it could go both ways if you want to um, dissect the relationship. But as far as well, that's an interesting know, point I, that you're making there. Is that really whether or not you are a victim in a circumstance like this is really a lot in your own mind, right? Like if you wanted to decide you were a victim, then you could probably come up with some things about him, like the fact that he was controlling at some point. I think that's exactly uh, right, Ian. Exactly. That's what's most offensive about many of these statements is is that, um, like a person <laughs> should be able to claim victimhood for themselves right. before you go in and slap a label on them. Yeah, and that's what I think the problem is yeah. with a lot of these laws is there are these do-gooders who've come in and they've decided, well, they know what's best for everybody and their relationships. And you know what I really believe it comes down to, Mark? Uh, I was having this conversation on this Facebook thread with hundreds of posts. If you go to Rich Paul's Facebook thread, uh, you can see – I think he posted it publicly – but, uh, you know, there were these women in there that were just so angry and they kept typing in all caps, you know, to really make their point stronger uh, about how, you know, they thought that everybody who believed that what Mary Kay Letourneau and Vili did was, you know, pedophilia and was horrifying and, you know, so wrong. Um, I feel like these are people who probably did have a bad experience maybe when they were younger. Maybe they maybe there was somebody who took advantage of them and they believe that, you know, everybody at that age is so uh, clueless or or so gullible and stupid and you know they're projecting their own viewpoint onto absolutely everybody but people are different yeah yeah and Amber, thanks I go- mean, yeah go ahead oh, i'm just i just want to make the point that i just truly believe in number and you don't choose who you fall in love with thanks for the call tonight and clearly these guys are in love still i appreciate it amber they're still together after 20 years. Right, and I, I I wouldn't want to diminish that at all. Also, when I think of these situations, I remember the, uh, I think the movie Coal Miner's Daughter with Sissy Spacek um, about Loretta Lynn's life, and they talked about how she got married at the age of 15 to a 21-year-old man, um, and they stayed married their whole lives. And I don't feel like I feel like I have no moral momentum to be able to call Loretta Lynn a victim and her husband a pedophile like I'm just not prepared to do that and I think and I'm 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 willing to step out and say whoa slow your roll there moral warrior I think that we might be able to step back and say that there are situations that we may not know the the whole uh, the ramifications of our actions Darren's in Surfside South Carolina listening to WRNN hello Darren Hi, how you doing, guys? Good. Go ahead, sir. Hey, look, uh, I'm 50 years old now, but when I was 14, that was a long time ago, 1979, um, my mother used to babysit for this really cute little blonde. She was 20 years old that lived across the street from us. And uh, one day I was helping her take her playpen and all the things on when she came to pick up her baby. And she kissed me, and one thing led to another. And uh, basically I was at her house every night for the next three months. You know what we were doing. I bet she got really interesting. You were playing. You were playing Parcheesi and uh, board games with her. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's Uh, all. But anyway, suddenly one night, um, basically a SWAT team rushed the house, (gasps) kicked the door in, and and caught us in a pretty compromising situation. They hauled her off. They hauled her off to jail. Um, I forget what her bond was, but it was pretty high. Um, They charged her with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. 
Well, that's, that's all. Probably the, that's, that's probably actually, the most accurate statement here. That's, that's <laughs> actually not. You know, all things considered, uh, contributing to a delinquency is generally not a felony uh, level charge. What, do you know if it was in that right. case? Right. Well, they gave her a three year suspended sentence. Oh, but she basically, they had it totally, totally wrong because I was from a real small town. I mean, the sidewalks literally rolled up at um, mm-hmm. six o'clock. We had nothing to do. So prior to meeting her, I was out riding around in the car drinking and smoking pot. Sure. And, you know, and just at 14? You know, living a free lifestyle wow. at 14 years old. So she drew me out of that. She was the person that told me, you want to stop running with these losers. Right. You need to stop skipping school. You need to turn your life around. So she was, you know, she she wasn't contributing to my delinquency. No, she was a positive was, influence on you. She, exactly. And uh, they didn't see it that way. Oh, so man. What happened with her? She moved one town over, and we continued to see each other. Probably for another year or two, and then, uh, you know, we just fire <laughs> Wait, 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 but, wait, wait, wait. So, wait, you continued see, she, she continued seeing you when she was on essentially a suspended sentence? Yeah, she moved to a town about 25 miles away, and I would just go see her on the weekends and stuff. Yeah, and, clearly, uh, the, uh, clearly the system is yeah. really uh, affecting people and what they're going to do, right? Like, here she is with uh, years hanging over her head if she gets caught right. with you another time, uh, and yet right. she's still doing it. Yeah, I'm not scarred in any way. It was uh, it was quite fun, actually. So, I bet it anyway. was. Thanks for the right. call tonight, right. Darren. I appreciate yeah. hearing from you. And she, I don't think, sounds like she was not a monster. Sounds like she was not a predator. Sounds to me like he's convinced that it was worthwhile. And I don't see any reason why I should disbelieve him on that. That's what he says. And isn't it what the individual says that should matter the most? Not what the parents think or the well, police I think, think? I think parents come into play on this, especially if it's their house. But um, that's the most difficult well, it sounded part. sounded like of this. he was at her house. Yeah, it, he was. Um, <laughs> that's the most difficult part of this is that as a parent, I can say, yeah, I'm reasonably certain that my 13 year old can't make a uh, decision like this to say date a 30 year old. I have a difficult time with that. 855 450 free. What about you? You can share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no. now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? 
Democrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You dial toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. If you want to join the conversation, we've been talking about Mary Kay Letourneau and her husband, although some would say he was a victim and she was a predator. Uh, was he? Is she? Is she still a predator? Or was she only a predator when, you know, he was 13? But now they're together and they've claimed to have loved each other the entire time. He says he wishes he could have talked to her while she was in jail. You know, he wishes he could have uh, interacted with her and that his life was more difficult because she was in jail. You can share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. Uh, as we continue here, we've also got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Oh, and I want to inform you about how to get Bitcoins, because the price has gone down a little bit over the last week or so. It's now at around 230 I think, today, $230 US dollars per yeah. Bitcoin. Now, remember, with Bitcoin, they're divisible by eight decimal points. So you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin if you're just balking and saying, whoa, $230. Well, you can spend actually less than $40 on Bitcoin at expresscoin.com, and you can get Bitcoin with no transfer fee. Now, you have to use our code in order to get that deal. Normally, their transfer fee is very, very affordable, probably the best in the industry. Uh, but you can actually uh, use code FTL, and if you buy less than $40 worth of Bitcoin or Litecoin or Dogecoin over at ExpressCoin.com, there's no transfer fee with code FTL. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business, and you can get cryptocurrency with either money order, check, or even a wire transfer. Just start over at ExpressCoin.com, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada. That's ExpressCoin.com. You can also download their app for your smartphone. And again, don't forget code coupon code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. As we continue, Nathan is with us in Texas via Skype. Hello, Nathan. Evening, guys. Hey there. So um, it's inter Well, my my thoughts on a lot of this is that uh, I, what you alluded to earlier about you know how the government doesn't let people of a certain age work or uh, I think all that all that kind of interlocks together, right? Like they say that you can't um, assume the role of an adult at this certain until you reach this certain age, and then mm -hmm. you can do all this stuff. And I, I think a lot of it too is that people kind of kind of want the government to come in and impose standards where they're not willing to do so kind of a thing. Like the government will just say, well, this arbitrary number we've come up with is when you can do X, Y, and Z, and that's the end of it. Um, and it kind of, it's kind of disempowering, I think, because it takes it out of the hands of people and uh, communities. But you're saying some people want that, like like a store owner wants the government to set a, an age for buying alcohol that way. Hey, look, kid, it's not my fault. The, you know, the government makes me do this. Is that well, what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, well, I think that we've, well, what right. we saw with tobacco companies, this was exactly the case. When it came to advertising, tobacco companies were disallowed from using broadcast advertising. I think it was in 1971, but you shouldn't quote me on that. Um, and the reason was is that essentially the tobacco companies had to fight with each other um, through ad dollars to see who got marketed. 
market share. So what they did was is they actually lobbied for the restriction to some extent. They, they, they acquiesced to the restriction because it would be fair for all of them, and then none of them would be able to advertise um, uh, on the, the radio or TV. And what that sort of does for the store owner is, is look, if you're a store owner and you refuse to sell tobacco to anyone who's under the age of 18, that's all fine and dandy. But the next guy, the store over, might decide that you only have to be 17 and a half. And that puts, you know, that's another new sort of currency mm. um, that puts store owners in competition. Well, I was thinking more in terms of like parenting and that, that remark that you said, Mark, earlier about, um, you know, once you reach a certain age, it's sort of, you know, all your bad parenting is done with. You can't really go back and fix it or yeah, change it. Yeah, can't do much. And, right. And so I think part of it is people who are upset about that and they, they kind of want the government to, to enforce these kind of standards. Like, say, if, you're, if your daughter, like that guy's daughter who is out at the club or whatever, if you, if you feel like you've been a bad parent, then you can kind of take comfort in that, you know, the government will impose this standard that, you know, you may not do such and such until you reach a certain age. Um, but uh, so the, the point I wanted to get to is a, a comment came up in the first hour that I noticed uh, you both let by without comment, and I wanted to comment on it. There was a, one of the first callers mentioned uh, that, that men who uh, have erections can't be raped. Is that right? Uh, yeah, he. Um, I think the, he said 99.9% .9 of the time, or basically the erections generally mean consent. He, he wasn't hard and fast on it like 100% of the time. Uh, he seemed kind of certain to me, and uh, I've been listening to this uh, this Molyneux video, The Truth About Rape Culture, and one of the startling claims in it that I've, I've been trying to come to grips with is this idea that men not only can be raped, but may be raped almost as much as women. And, you know, so, you know, part of it is this idea that, well, if you like it, then it's not rape, and, you know, I mean, it well, seems if you like, like it, it's not rape, but I don't think it's uh, <laughs> I, I think that it's certainly true that you could probably get an give someone an erection without their consent. I think that uh, that yeah, could be done. That's what that's what I was getting at. It seems like there's this there's this physiological aspect where if there's just a certain kind of stimulation or, right. you know, if without you're getting too system, detailed. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I, I believe that, you know, it, they do say that sex is in your head a lot of it. But all that said, you know, if somebody knows what they're doing, they probably could. Okay, happen. so th what you're claiming here is is that I'm a rape victim, and I refuse this label, and I think that this is more Wait, what? this is more disempowering Sorry, stuff. I had an ex-girlfriend who had my garage code, yeah, and uh, she, you know, because she was my girlfriend, and then she wasn't, and I didn't change my garage okay. code, and for a series, you know, for a period of time after our breakup, she would use the garage code and come in and uh, have sex. You know, we would have sex. You're uh, not a rape victim unless you say no. Well, she came in and woke me up, uh, like you know, doing something with a with a BJ. Or so something. right. So therefore, what we're talking about is me not giving consent. Um, you know, maybe maybe the times after that you could claim otherwise, mm -hmm. but you can't claim that time, right? Like there's a breakup, and then that is a tough that is a tough issue. Sex comes without my consent, and I'm you know b bull crap. I was uh, somehow raped. I mean, come I didn't. On. I, I would not say you were raped. I'm not I, looking I, at what, you. Do you I'm think talking, was saying I'm you? talking to Nate. Well, you know, I wouldn't say you were raped either. I'm I'm thinking of a circumstance where. Um, you know, someone is being raped against their like they're right, having you're intercourse tied down. against their will. You're, you're yeah, saying no. Like you're, you're saying no, and that person is manipulating your uh, genitals to the point where they are able to, to rape you. And even if you know, to me, even if the uh, even if you aren't able to get to the point of uh, full erection to where sex could happen, it's still to me rape. I mean, they can rape you in other ways, right? Like whether or not you get uh, you know an erection doesn't matter ultimately to whether or not you can be raped. Somebody can put something elsewhere uh, that right, could, right. that but would cause that, you know, that caller. That caller was. It sounded like he believed that, and that's that's kind of one of these weird gender double standards that yeah. have kind yeah. of come up in this conversation. Right, like how if, rape if the guy is somehow is a male committed crime, um, and I, I would say that ninety plus percent of the time it generally is though. It's probably well, probably the males that are getting raped are likely getting raped by other males. That's just my speculation. I haven't. Right, but male committed is what I said. Well, yeah. I've read contradictory numbers on it, um, so I don't. I don't what know have what you seen? Necessarily. Well, the, I've seen numbers both ways. That like one said, ninety percent of male victims were from other males, and then one study said it was like fifty percent. Mm -hmm. So you know, I've I have no idea what the numbers are, and of course, 
you know, there's this problem that if you are a rape victim, you may not want to report it. Yeah, it's hard to really get accurate numbers about rape, but we certainly know they're bad enough. Thank you, Nathan, for the call tonight. Uh, The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. There's actually a little bit more on the story about Mary Kay Letourneau and her husband, Vili, who are still together now 20 years later, nearly 20 years later. 855-450-FREE. You can share your thoughts. This is Free Talk Live, and it is, by the way, the live Saturday edition. Plus, you can bring up anything you want. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99, and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at LRN.fm.
Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll free, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Join us here on the air or join us online anytime at freetalklive.com. If you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, then please support our fundraiser going on right now. We did have a few $50 contributions roll in over the last couple of days, so thank you to everyone who's contributed, no matter how small the amount. Thank you. Uh, over to our African satellite fundraiser at LRN, Excuse me, africa.lrn.fm. LRN is uh, our little internet network that's also on satellite over North and Central America and was on satellite over Africa from 2012 through February of this year. The satellite company was putting us up there sort of as a bonus. It was free, so I wasn't having to pay for that time. I pay for uh, several hundred dollars per month for the North and Central American satellite, but they were bonusing us this one. They canceled that, and so now I'd like to continue on in Africa because the message of liberty is important, especially important to get to the areas of the world that don't have Internet access, and that's what satellite can allow us to do. It's called free-to-air satellite. You can learn a lot more about this on the uh, the pitch page, if you will, from Indiegogo. There's a four-minute long video. If you've got four minutes Please just go and check this out, africa.lrn.fm. I hope you'll find it persuasive. Please give whatever you can afford and then uh, share the link. Share africa.lrn.fm with your friends who also care about freedom and who care about getting the word out about these ideas. We know we were reaching people in Africa. They reached out to us, some of them, to let us know. So if a portion of them are reaching out, you know there are even more who are listening, just like our callers, right? They they say that uh, 1% of your listeners, you know, less than 1% of your listeners are your callers in talk radio. So we know there's a good chunk of folks there in Africa who were listening to LRN.FM. And you can help us bring that signal back. Uh, we got to raise $22,000, and we've got just about five weeks left to do it. So please, africa.lrn.fm. There's some cool perks and some new perks uh, as well, by the way. Um, let's see. I think I put yours in, Mark. You had volunteered to do... Yeah, I did do yours. Uh, you had volunteered to read people's custom voicemail greetings. So if you want Mark from Free Talk Live to cut a voicemail f- track for you where you know, give you a waveform and then you can somehow upload that or play it into your system, uh, then he'll do that. We'll it's figure it out. a $100 contribution. Also, Angel Clark has made the same offer to do that. There's ways that uh, you can donate more, like 1000 bucks, and you can come sit in the studio, hang out uh, during a show as it's being produced. You can not just free talk live. You can pick from something like a dozen shows uh, for the sit-in studio option. There are a couple different sit-in studio options there. So go and check out the full perks list over at africa.lrn.fm as we go back to your calls and thoughts colette is with us in hudson new hampshire colette you're on free talk live with ian and mark hey thanks for taking my call hey, sure i was just calling about the mary kay letourneau story because yeah. this is a topic that uh personally i have a lot of uh stake in. and my husband and i met when i was 15 and he was just turning 21 And I was married to him when I was 17. We've now been married for 12 years. Uh, Colette, you're just a victim of a predator who was grooming you. You just can't figure it out, Colette. Well, if I'm a a victim, then I think a lot of people want to be victimized because I could not speak highly enough of my husband. He is an amazing man who has supported me through things a lot of other men don't. I know most of the girls that I went to school with um, ended up with boys their age who they got pregnant and now they're single parents, and I'm not knocking them for that, but my life has turned out really good, and I'm extremely happy with my life. We have two beautiful children, and we respect each other and work together, and I don't. I feel like I couldn't be a part of a better team. And how old are you now, if I might ask? I'm 29. Okay, so you guys have been together for almost 15 years then. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, I mean, what can you say to a story like that? I mean, the, the people who are critical will say, Colette, you were abused. You were taken advantage of. But, you know, some people want to uh, – they want to start a family sooner than other people. Like, I didn't want to start a family. I didn't want to start a family at all. My wife had to threaten to leave. Uh, so, <laughs> so um, I mean, you know, that was 38 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what my age was, but I was uh, above 35. And now you're glad you did. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, my son's wonderful. But that was, you know, that was the reality of the situation. Some people want to come out of high school and start a family. How are they going to do that if they don't have some flexibility as far as the age with whom of, of, of whom they date? 
But I don't even necessarily think it's as simple as that. I mean, I wasn't really looking for a relationship at the time. I honestly, at that age, I never saw myself being married, but I met somebody who loved me and respected me and I enjoyed spending time with, and it's what we ended up choosing. But anybody who would call him a predator for that is either evil or just extremely ignorant. And I would stand by that till the day I die. What about the people who would um, say, Colette, you were just a dumb little girl and he took advantage of you? Okay, well, the people are able to say that, but I'm now almost 30. We've been together all this time. I, He's still I taking advantage of you. I was a victim? <laughs> when am I supposed to wake up and realize that I was a victim? Right. Yeah, I love that line. You never, you never get to have license over your life. You never get to decide <laughs> that you weren't a victim to the minds of the people that say you're a victim. Like, you never get to because you were damaged, um, you know, and now you never get to say. You'll never know you're a victim. It's nuts. And honestly, I think that's part of the larger epidemic is I think a lot of parents, there's this emotional thing. And it's I get it. I'm a parent myself. I want to protect my children. And if I ever legitimately felt like somebody was a threat to my children or they harmed my children, I would be after them with everything I had. But there's also you have to insert logic into it and realize people's personhood. And I, you know, I'm on a lot of peaceful parenting boards online, and there's you constantly see people posting these things where people are gloating over how they're punishing their children, when it's extremely harsh and doesn't teach them anything other than I am your authority and you must listen to me. And that, you know, that's how we got to statism. That's how people just want to perpetuate this, where it's. I have control over you, and you don't have a say in your own life, and that's why children rebel and mm. don't listen when their parents have legitimate warnings. Colette, good call. Thanks for sharing your story tonight. I appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Let's go to Jan in Mobile, Alabama, listening to WAVH. Hello, Jan. Hi. Hi there. Uh, y'all were talking about uh, who had kept Mary Kay Paterno's children that she had with Billy Falau. That was his mother who kept the children, from what I read Makes in the sense. medium. And, yeah, and she would bring the children to visit Mary Kay in the prison, and so that's how she kind of kept up with Billy also was through his mother. Uh-huh. And, yeah, that that's the way I understood how things went. Oh, thank you for sharing <laughs> that. All, yeah, and also, too, you know, they are, um, I believe it's Samoan or something like that. They they are Polynesian extraction, Billy's people. Mm -hmm. And so they have kind of a tradition of early sex and, and different kind of mores having to do with sex than our culture has. Jan, thanks for uh -oh. calling and sharing your thoughts tonight. Let's talk to Sophia. I think in that's very relevant as people sort of, uh, sort of, internal uh, cultural rules. Indiana, Sophia, you're on Free Talk Live listening to WIBC. Uh, yes. Um, I just feel like, you know, regardless of your age, I don't really think that people need to, like, really look at individuals at their age. I mean, because a lot of people nowadays, they are actually aged more than what they are. What does I that mean, aged more than what they are? More mature in you some know, ways? They, right, right, more mature. You know, I was 15 years old. Um, I fell in love with this guy. His name is Brian, and my parents did not approve of it mm -hmm. at all. But, you know, I was from a divorced household, and I had to really, really grow up. And How old I was Brian? Like he was actually 21 at the time. All right, stand by. If you want to tell the rest of your story, we'll come back to you here in a moment. Sophia, more on the way. Maybe time for you if you dial right now, 855-450-FREE. Plus, what is Mary Kay Letourneau doing these days? That's uh, what we'll tell you if we get a chance from the 2020 report last night with uh, Barbara Walters celebrating their 10th uh, their tenth anniversary as married a married couple. They're still together after 20-plus years, or about 20 years. It's Free Talk Live. More on the way. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. 
Slow moving and non thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read chapter one at survivormax.com. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. Maybe enough time for you if you're on the if you're on the lines right now. If you're not, you probably shouldn't bother calling in. Uh, but if you still want to get your thoughts in and you don't get on tonight, don't worry. We do a live Sunday edition. Me and Mark will be here again tomorrow night. Whether we're on your local radio station at that time is another question. Not all of our stations take all seven nights a week. So if you're only getting Free Talk Live one night a week or five nights a week, you can always call your local program director during the week, during business hours, and ask him or her real nice-like to uh, get some more free talk live on the air. Tell them you like the show and that you want to hear more of us. 
It's, uh, it's important to do that because normally these program directors, they're hearing a bunch of complaints. They're hearing people calling saying, I don't like what the morning show said today and uh, all kinds of just people <laughs> griping about things. So if you can call with something pleasant, if you can call with a compliment for their programming abilities, then uh, they sure would appreciate that. And it makes a big difference probably in whether or not they'll uh, put more of us on. So you can go and learn more about how to call your local talk station by, co- by visiting local.freetalklive.com. As we go back to Sophia listening in Indiana, she was beginning to tell us about a relationship that she had. You said you were, was it 15? He was 21? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Okay, well, and, you know, my parents was always, um, I lived in a split home, you know, my stepmother and my father, and my father did not accept it at all. Mm. So they did everything that they could to actually keep us apart. I mean, yeah, we did see each other, you know, on the down low, you know, here and there, but we did get kind of lost in the whole you know, being in touch and seeing each other. And here I am, almost 37 years old. We've been, we found each other again. He's always thought about me, been in love with me for so many years, you know, has looked for me so many times. And I've always expected, you know, a man to be like him. I've, you know, I've had kids by different, you know, by a different man, and I've always expected that nice and polite and funny and always keeping me happy and laughing. So nobody ever stood up to him. You know, nobody was never him. And here we are. We've been together. July will be a year. Um, We got back um, together. We talked about six months, and then we got together. You know, we're about to get married. So I feel like that even though you're young, you should always do what your heart says. Yes, you know, young people are going to make mistakes. And now... Everyone's going to make mistakes, but yeah, you're right. Right, right. And the way I raise my kids, I have four amazing kids. But I raise them to where cut the umbilical cord, let them go out, let them make mistakes. Because that's the only way that they're going to learn. It's absolutely You're true. You're going to learn from your mistakes. Sophia, you know? thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate it. I think the best thing you can do as a parent is give them the best information you can. You know, try to prepare them for uh, you know what they're going it's to all encounter you can out there. Be a resource for them. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, I agree with that that viewpoint that you can't round off all the corners. You can't completely protect your kids, and I don't think you should want to. You know, I, did, I don't mean that you should give them whiskey and a handgun either. Um, it's just that— Not you know, at the same time. Let's continue here. Let's go to uh, James listening in Indy to WIBC. <laughs> James in Indy going once. James in Indy going twice. I'll put him back on hold. Give him another try. Try Phil in Indy listening to WIBC. Hello, Phil. Hey, what's going on? All right. Well, a couple Radio of things show. real quick. Um, I understand, you know, the people want to protect their kids, this and that. But Indiana has some really jacked up, you know, sexual offender laws. The age of consent is 16 years old. Okay. So you're allowed to have sex with a 16-year-old, but if that 16-year-old gives you a sexual picture, Mm-mm. then you're guilty of child pornography. Yeah, and so is the 16-year-old. Uh, that that just shows one of so those sort of conundrums, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There, there's that. Now, also... Um, now myself, and I'll put this out there, I'm on the sex offender registry, um, with actually it states no victim, which, you know, that's another debate. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Using peer to peer, which, you know, is, you know, people use illegally, you know, for movies and music, which yes, I'm guilty of that. Um, but without the filters, you know, anybody puts out there whatever they want, name it whatever they want. You download it. You find out what it is after you download it. But um, so what you're saying I'm is, understand- you got uh, was it child pornography charges for downloading yeah, stuff? Yeah, ab- from- absolutely for a deleted image. Yes. How, or, it, how did they? Uh, what were they do? Was it like the feds who were hosting it to where they were able to track all well, the people who downloaded? What, what that was. 
And this, and again, I didn't want to get into this, but I, and I don't mind getting into this. But what it was was a disgruntled family member um, out using my computer, which we'll call a community computer, you know, mm-hmm. of the household, uh, in a, and inappropriate. And this was ten years ago, where the filters that exist now did not exist. Yeah. Um, and inappropriate video came through. I'm like, hey. Let me know when that goes through because I'm not supposed to have that. I need to get rid of it. Well, when I made that family member leave, you know, that became, hey, he's got this. And after a year and a half of investigation, um, you know, computer forensics, they found that. But, um, wow. you know. So again, what you're saying is, just to oh. clarify, you didn't actually download this. It was someone in your family downloaded this offensive picture then they but blamed it you computer. for it. But it was my computer. But they turned you in I, essentially. They they snitched you out yes, to the cops. Because, yes, because I made you know because when this happened, you kicked him out. Uh, periodically, I was like, hey, you know, and and not because of that, but for other reasons. Yeah, sure, yes. sure. They they uh, got back at you uh, for for kicking them out. Exactly. Now, and so they came at you and because was, it was your computer. And what did you do? Take a plea. What else can I do? took a plea they, because they they found uh, six deleted images. Because you can't prove that they in, weren't yours, even though it wasn't your, I mean, even though it was a shared computer. Exactly. Wow. Uh, it uh, was my man, computer and that's there were a six deleted, terrible and, and story, Phil. Twelve felonies. Thank you for the call tonight. I wish we had more time to talk about it. It sounds absolutely outrageous. I do want to make sure we get a chance to get some other folks on here. Uh, David's in Lynchburg, Virginia, listening to WLNI. Hello, David. Hello. Hi there. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. What's so on your mind I'm tonight? Hearing you, I'm hearing you talk about uh, young people and being able to make mature decisions. And oh, yeah. when 80% of college students are not able to declare a major until their third year of college, they can't even make a decision about what they want to study. How can they make decisions that will impact the rest of so their then, lives? So are you arguing to increase the uh, age of consent to 22 when uh, many people are through with college, or maybe 26 just to be safe? I think that we need to make the age of consent the same as our drinking age. Thanks 21. for the call, David. Ridiculous. Let's uh, go to Alex listening in California. You've been waiting very patiently. Go ahead, Alex. Hello. You're on the air. Go. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. You're on the radio. Uh, okay, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, what's going on in California. It's, there's a huge story happening right now with uh, our local radio host uh, named Delonka. Have you heard of him? Nope. Tell me about it quickly. We've got uh, a he, very short period of time. Yeah, in uh, yeah, 2010, uh, you know, he made a Coogie sweater uh, a replica with some wrapper uh, on the, you know, on the front of the sweater with his girlfriend's uh, pubic hair. I'm sorry. What's and, a Coogie? Um, recently. Uh, it's like it's like a sweater. I think it's like uh, these you know hip hop rascals wear these uh, these sweaters. Um, that's basically what the sweater is about. I'm sorry. And how do you spell this uh, radio host name? Uh, D i l a n k a. Okay. He hosts a show called like the Talking Holes. I think. All right. And what um, about it? What's so the controversy right, right now? Right now, you know, he's, what he's doing is he's uh, he's announced on his show that he's planning on shaving his uh, um, his cat and making like a women's underwear line, um, <laughs> and people are going crazy, you know, like animal activists. Oh and animal. my goodness! Why can't you shave a cat? What's the problem with that? Thanks for the call tonight, Alex. Why can't Alex? you make a crank, crank call to a radio program? This guy not real? Was, it, was that no? The show host was not real. I don't know whether it's real or not. I I have no idea. All right, well, let's continue here. We're going to give James in Indianapolis one last crack at it. James, are you there? And he has failed a second time. Well, then. Uh, well, I, that's why I asked him to spell uh, the radio host's yep, name, yeah, Mark. You, he, was, he, he, he threw it right out there, didn't he? He was you good did, at it. You didn't, write, you didn't jot it down, though. No, you I just don't care. You didn't Google that. I was just curious to see if that was true. I mean, he waited. That guy waited two hours. Two hours to go for that. For so that. maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Yeah. I don't know. You, um, de- you decide. We take yeah. the calls, you decide. Yeah, before, um, you know, I know this show is going to get thrown back in our face at some point. I just want to make it clear. Look, I'm not 100% sure when anybody should be having sex, um, but I've got to say that I think that there's a lot of ramifications to the laws we have today. And 
you know, you can't just stand hide behind the law. Check it out at freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly... You know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, April 11th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.51 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,208 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $236. Antiwar.com reports after over a week of blocking all aid flights into Yemen, Saudi Arabia finally allowed two flights into Sana'a, one from the Red Cross and the other from UNICEF. Two planes loaded with medical aid will barely put a dent in the humanitarian crisis across Yemen since the Saudi war began and will do nothing about the growing food shortages for the nation, which generally imports nearly 90% of its food. The Saudis apparently aren't particularly patient even with the limited aid either, with the UN unsuccessfully trying to convince the Saudis to give them more time to evacuate foreigners on the planes. The Saudi coalition has insisted that they will handle humanitarian and aid to the country, but only once they are convinced that the aid will not hinder their ongoing war aimed at reinstating former President Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports a Florida 8th grader is facing felony hacking charges after he used his school's computer network to prank a teacher with a photo of two men kissing. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako said Dominic Green, 14, used an administrative level password to access the secure computer network at Paul R. Smith Middle School in Holiday on March 31st and changed the desktop background photo to one showing two men kissing. Nako told the Tampa Bay Times, even though some might say this is just a teenage prank. Who knows what this teenager might have done? 
Green, who was charged with a felony offense against a computer system and unauthorized access, said he learned the password, a teacher's last name, by watching a teacher type the password in two years ago. Green and several other students were previously suspended for using the password to access the network. Green said, if they would have notified me that it was illegal, I would not have done it in the first place, but all they said was, you shouldn't be doing that. He was suspended for 10 days along with the arrest. His mother, Eileen Foster, said the felony charge does not fit the crime. Foster said he had the chance to get into the FCAT files, he had the chance to change grades, to do whatever you can do in the FCAT files, and he did not take it. I think that alone proves he does not deserve a felony charge. Green said the prank was directed at a teacher he does not like, but it was spotted by a substitute teacher and reported to officials. School District spokeswoman Linda Kobe said the network password is being changed. You can support FPP Radio by joining the Fans Program. You can join the Fans Program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the Fans Program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports a Secret Service agent was arrested by police in Washington on Friday for allegedly trying to break into the home of a woman while carrying a handgun. D.C. Metropolitan Police Department spokeswoman Gwendolyn Crump said the officer, Arthur Baldwin, was charged with destruction of property and burglary. Baldwin damaged the window and back door of a 23-year-old woman's apartment in southeast Washington while off-duty shortly after midnight. The Washington Post reported that Baldwin's ex-girlfriend lived in the apartment. According to the police report, Baldwin was carrying a 357 caliber handgun. The arrest is the latest embarrassment for the agency that protects the president and his family. It was criticized as being too insular by an independent panel appointed after a man with a knife scaled the White House fence and ran inside the mansion last year. Secret Service Director Joseph Clancy has ordered that Baldwin's security clearance be suspended and that he be placed on administrative leave. Baldwin, formerly a uniformed officer assigned to the Secret Service's foreign missions branch is being investigated by the agency's Office of Professional Responsibility. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The Department of Health and Human Services has issued a new ban preventing the nation's Shaunas from any further use of tanning salons. The ruling was made after a study found that Shaunas are exposed to roughly 5,000 times more UV radiation each year than the average American. They are at a very high risk of developing melanoma and orangey leathery skin. Shaunas, uh, you are tan enough. Let us tan. The nation's Shaunas have reacted negatively to the ban. I don't care what the government says. I just want 15 bucks and scratches, so I'm getting a freaking tan. This sucks. None of us have time for this shit. We've got Tammy's at home to raise. In an Onion News Network poll of Shauna's across the country, more than 30% argued that a pale complexion will negatively affect the size of their tips at Ruby Tuesdays. And more than half have said that their boyfriends, Dennis, like them tan. And he's the father of their second child, so they want him to stick around. This is the Onion News Network. It's time for Off the Air Live. And here's your host, Cody O'Connor. All righty, everybody. It is Off the Air Live. It is Saturday night. I'm drinking beer. As usual. Mike Mahegan is here. <laughs> As usual. Also 